Waiting to find out if we're live, I'll find out very soon, and then the party will begin. I don't know the song, I'm just kinda singing a thing, totally unrelated to everything. Hey, I think we're live. I think we're live. It looks like we're live. Hello, everyone. What's going on? Shout out to motherfuckers in the chat. What up? What up? Let's see. Let's double check this real shit. Bean Man says hello. Astolfo says, hey, it's live. How's the audio? Hey! I think we're live. That's me. Uh, that's me. That's my live stream. Dude, I love tuning into the live stream as it's happening because there's a, like a delay and it's like fucking weird. What is up, everybody? Welcome. Uh, to a special Conker's Bad Fur Day drinking game. Not hosting this for any particular reason. I just kind of felt like doing another stream because y'all like them and you keep tuning into them. And I have a little more spare time nowadays because I'm not fucking working 24-7 because it's not the fucking holidays anymore. The screen just went a little dim, so let's change that. Not grabbed by the ghoulies. Conker's Bad Fur Day! Mad Mike won't be able to stay long hanging with some friends soon. Oh, you f Fucking traitor, how dare you. Bean Man, yep, it's so weird to watch yourself while streaming. Uh, my Kelly, Moo Kelly, says hello. Hello, uh, my Kelly, how are you? I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Mad Mike, Conker's inner circle is goaded. Uh, Astolfo, it's good that you're doing streams more often. That just means we can make more fun of Chris Barnes. Exactly. And who doesn't want to make fun of Chris Barnes? All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're playing Conker's Bad Fur Day. Uh, the most controversial, notorious Nintendo 64 game fucking ever. We got actually quite a few requests for this. Uh, I'm playing this uh, via Rare Replay, which is on uh, Xbox One, and I, the, the Xbox One X, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, the rules for this drinking game are in the description of this video. Feel free to refer to them uh, as often as you like. I'm going to read them out right now for shits and giggles. We're going to take a shot every time Conker dies. We're going to take a shot every time Conker finds a squirrel tail. Take a shot every time a character in-game drinks alcohol. Um, and take a shot every time a character in-game swears. Uh, Ferris Brett, Meltdown's happy hour with Conker. That's act that actually sums it up pretty fucking well. That's, that's kind of true. Uh, all right. Cool. How's everyone doing? I'm starting off... Uh, I'm going to... Let's have one... Sh let's have a drink together for... Uh, Good luck, celebration. I am drinking a Rush Canadian Golden Ale from the band Rush of the same name. I finally found somewhere that fucking sells this. For some reason, I can't find anywhere in this fucking city that sells it. Shout out to Summerhill LC L Summerhill LCBO. Uh, Power of the Night, why aren't we playing the live and reloaded version? Because the live and reloaded version is not available, plus most people tend to agree that the OG is the better version anyway. Bean Man, uh, Bean Man says, it's 7 a.m., so I might use my coffee instead of alcohol. Holy shit. I mean, I don't know. I've, st I've definitely started the morning a few times with alcohol, just saying. A uh, fair warning to everyone out there. This game is crude. This is violent. It's a lot of naughty words and a lot of naughty images. This is not, this is not a kid's game. It's not. We don't normally play kid's games on the Metal Meltdown, so there shouldn't be too many difficulties, but even so... Just in case you thought, hey, I'm gonna fucking crawl up on the couch with my fucking seven-year-old son and we're gonna watch the Metal Meltdown stream together. Like, no, go put on fucking Bluey or whatever the shit. Like, no. Astolfo, I'm drinking Pepsi, I'm eating pizza, I'm having the time of my life, thanks to finally quitting my horrible job. Well, congratulations, good sir, cheers to that. Bean Man, oof, drinking at 7 a.m. I love me a good drink, but damn. I mean, I do too. That's why I do it at 7 a.m. I like even Conker's Bad Fur Day is like, are you sure? Are you sure you want to do this? I bet Nintendo wishes they had something like that when people bought this back in the day. For mature audiences only. Oh, man. This is fucking silly. I've, it's been a while since I played this, but I remember like the basic gist of, of it and like how it works and shit. The Cock and Plucker. That's a great name for a bar. It's a good thing the stream is laggy as fuck, because the game just looks already laggy. So, like, it's just gonna look the same. K 
Kevin Mitchell, I'm on the bed and watching this stream. Hell yeah. Uh, game one? Oh, no. I don't... Yeah, new game. We need a new game. There we go! New game! I just noticed fucking Banjo's head on the mount above the fucking fireplace. Holy shit, that's brutal. That is fucking gnarly. Oh my goodness. It's it's honestly weird in retrospect that Nintendo put their name on this. Like, how did that fucking happen? I'm just gonna check something. Holy shit, that's brutal. Alright, making sure the audio is still good. People have noticed some... Since now that we're using OBS and using a new capture card, people have noted some, diff, uh, some weird issues with the sound, so I want to make sure we're all good. Tyler Hackner, hey, hey! How you doing, Tyler? What's up? Conker's sitting on that thing like he's fucking uh, Tony Montana. Jesus Christ. Is he just gonna stare at me this whole time? I didn't realize this game started off with a fucking staring contest. Holy shit. Power of the Night. I want a sequel to this so bad. I know. I know, man. It's never gonna happen at this point, though. Like, Xbox has just... You know, they bought Rare, they bought up the competition, and now they're just like, alright, you know, now you can make fucking a bunch of uh, dumb Connect games or whatever. There, I am. The there you are, Conker. The Ryan Goya, he looks pissed. Yeah, he does, honestly. And who those oh, by the way, take a shot every time a character in-game drinks. Hell yeah. Mm. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but he's, like, slurring his speech, too. It's so funny. He's already fucked up. Power of the Night, the audio is bad. How bad? I don't know if y'all can I mean, you can hear me. Like Fuck it. I don't know. I do the best I can with what I have, man. Kevin Mitchell, imagine Donkey Kong Country on the Xbox. I've got it on Super Nintendo. G God damn, Rare was not fucking around. Jesus Christ. Lola bunny ass girl here. Bean Man, the game is quiet. Yeah, there's, there's, guys, there's not much I can really do about audio. If you can hear me clearly, then that's what I'm gonna live with at this point. Oh, thank God, there's like sub. There's like that. Bean Man, the game is quiet. Yeah, there's. there's guys yeah, my, my audio is fine. I can live with that. <laughs> that I've never done. I've never, never gone out to a bar like late at night and like lied to my wife about it. Or my girlfriend or whatever. Same. Oh, look at you go, buddy. Oh, he fucked up. Look at him. Look at him. He's all fucked up. Oh, my goodness. Kevin Mitchell, if they did a movie, would the movie be rated NC-17? I mean, it'd be a solid R. I don't know about NC... Yeah. I don't know. I guess it would be. I don't know the... I, we just, I just use, like, the... We have the motion pictures guide of whatever up here. I don't even pay attention to the rating system anymore. I don't need to now that I'm an adult. I don't have kids. I don't need to worry if they're fucking watching The Menu or some bullshit. Or, like, uh, Friday the 13th. Oh, oh, Conker just vomed everywhere! Oh, God. Yeah, I don't blame you. I'd be mad, too. Man, Conker's tail flying everywhere. Holy shit. That is fucking silly. Ryan Goya, he's partied out, man, again. Fucking poser. N stuck it in nasty and nice lane. 
Bro, you should have just called an Uber. What are you doing? What are you doing? Astolfo conquered it the Steve-O jackass style. It's kind of a lot. There's like a decent amount of stuff happening in this fucking thing. Tyler Hackner just says audio. You, you gotta be more specific, man. I don't know what audio means. Astolfo conquered it the Steve-O jackass. Yeah, if, once again, folks, like... If the mic works, then that's good enough for me. If you came here for quality gameplay and, like, the best quality stream, go elsewhere. I don't know. Easy Bake Coven, afternoon, fellas. How you doing, Easy Bake Coven? Hell yeah. Another shot. Character in-game drinks. Mmm. What's everyone drinking right now? Kevin Mitchell, so people are mad at the Pink Floyd's new logo? Why would they be mad at the Pink Floyd logo? What's going on with the Pink Floyd logo? I didn't even re I didn't realize Pink Floyd were still, like, active. Even, honestly, I didn't. Pizza Shorts says, hello. Hello, Pizza Shorts. How you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic evening. Tyler Hackner says, Coke! Pizza Shorts says, water. What the fuck? People. People, come on. Come on! It's a drinking game. Where are the drinks? What are you doing? Unreal. Unfucking real. Punished Creighton, Lime Cherry Pepsi Max. Bro, what even is that? I that's a real flavor? Holy crap. Oh, can I play now? Alright, we're playing now. And I look I my conquer is swerving, man. Oh, he looks fucked up. Look at him, bro. Oh, he looks real fu- Oh, this camera's fucked up. Oh, man, this camera's fucked up. All right, we're gonna make this work. <clears throat> Kevin Mitchell, so on Facebook, they changed their PFP for the 50th anniversary on Dark Side of the Moon, and people are mad about it? Why are they mad about it? Is it, like, a- Is it, like, weirdly offensive? Is it, like, a dick pic? Is it, like, some, like- I, I don't get it. I still don't quite get it. Power of the night. I'm not old enough to drink yet. Oh, uh, okay, fair. I I don't want to uh, put myself in, in hot water and tell you to drink. But I, I mean, I will say I, I may have snuck a few beers from my dad when I was a kid. I think the first drink I ever had was like New Year's and I was like maybe 16 years old, something like that. Colonel Basic says Stella Lager and Jack Daniels Honey. There we go. That's what I'm looking to hear. Uh, Kevin Mitchell says rainbow. They're mad at a rainbow. Why are they mad at a rainbow? There's there's a rainbow on the Dark Side of the Moon album cover. I don't understand what the problem is. That makes sense, right? Like it's it's the light beam of light going through the prism, and then it becomes a rainbow. Why would they be mad that they? I don't get that. I I don't get that at all. Uh, Quest, Ren Sandberg says, Quest for Metal asks, what's your favorite metal genre? Uh, I don't know if I really have a favorite metal genre. Ten years ago, I would have said thrash. But nowadays, I'm like, um, I don't know, I guess I would say, like, either death metal or black metal. Like, that's primarily what I listen to. Especially, like, like, uh, tech death, melodic death metal, black gaze, and, like, a lot of atmospheric black metal. I mean, all my favorite records from last year were, like, black and death metal, so, you know. And then I go to the, the B button pad. There we go. You see those buttons? There's a fat scarecrow. Look at him. People like to get mad at anything, even the slightest thing. Astolfo the Rider of Black. And ladies and gentlemen, that's why I don't use Facebook ever. Are they seriously just mad at a rainbow? Why are they mad at a rainbow? Oh, is it is it because they think it's like fucking... Uh, is it because they think it's like LGBTQ plus like pandering or some shit like that? Did I, is that it? Someone tell me if that's why they're mad. I can't think of any other reason why they'd be mad. Cause like there's a rainbow on the album cover and boomers love to freak out about queer people existing. So I don't know, man. All right. Character had a drinking game. Here we go. Hmm. 
Delicious. Metal Fan 101 says, "How's it going, Robert? Going good, man. We're we're having drinks, we're partying, hanging out." Uh, Ren loves grindcore. Ren Ren has great taste in music. I don't really listen to a lot of grind anymore, but I do still love me some grind. Punish Creighton. Only good thing about Facebook is the messenger free calls. Hell yeah! Another character having a drink in game. Not not alcohol, but whatever. Mm. Alice Aisling Fessenden says, yeah, that's why Lamau. Okay, so it is the rainbow. Sh it literally is. They think it's LGBTQ plus fucking pandering. That's fucking funny. Dude, boomers are so fucking... Boomers and conservatives are so funny. All you have to do is show them a rainbow and they freak the fuck out. They see a rainbow in the sky and they'll be like, oh, the sky is pandering to gays. <laughs> so funny. Astolfo, if it wasn't for that one friend that I think everyone has, nobody would use TikTok, Facebook anymore. Yeah, I mean, I don't really use TikTok. All right, I got to fix these. Uh, can I fix these controls? I'm not big on the camera system here. I don't get, okay, I can't. All right, I guess I'll just live with it. I'll make it work. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hold the left trigger to... Okay, I see. And that's how I jump extra high. <laughs> like, that's how he says it to himself. Oh, yeah, if I press the A button, then I can fucking do that. Wonderful. Easy Bake Coven, glad I could convince you to check out that Tribunal record that came out today. Yeah, man, I, I heard a little bit of it uh, just before the stream. I thought it was really fucking cool. Looking forward to hearing the rest soon. Uh, Colonel Basic, anybody compared Pink Floyd's new Animals remaster to the old version? I didn't even know there was a remaster, so no comment. Scrumpy, I'm loving some Cancer Bats at the moment. Cool band. Hell yeah. Okay, so that's how I do the big jump. And that's how I do the, the tail thing. Cool. Wonderful. All righty. Right, I can't do nothing there. Bro. Bro, Jesus Christ. All right, well. Am I just, like, stuck here? I can't fucking go anywhere. All right, fuck it. Let's go down here. I don't know. Where's it going to take me? We're back right here. Sure, why not? Sure, that makes sense. That's how gravity works. Maruke Yaku... Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm going to butcher your name. I'm so sorry. Uh, Maruke Yakuna... Yakuni Tatsu. Hi, everyone. Hi, Maruk. <laughs> Hi, Maruke. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm very sorry. But it's great to see you here. Blackwater Rust. Oh, no. Pink Floyd is woke. It's not like the original Dark Side had cover had the rainbow. I don't, e I don't even think boomers and conservatives even realize what they're saying when they say, oh, this is woke. It's just a fucking dog whistle. Like, a black, pus a a a black person or a queer person will show up in media or, like, there'll be something like referencing like some kind of political ideology that they don't agree with and they're just like woke 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 like what are you even fucking talking about it's just a fucking dog whistle just to, just say you don't like black and queer people just say it all right just fucking say it kevin mitchell we got a new megadeth album and now metallica of anthrax released a new single the lead sayer uh lead singer of slayer starts a project I mean, there's apparently Carrie King still has some kind of band on the way. I don't know what it is or what it's all about, but we'll see. Blackwater Rust, I love some grind. Trench has got me to listen to Brutal Truth again. Oh, fucking nice. I gotta listen to more Brutal Truth. Been a while. Colonel Basic, I heard it's great. The original is amazing to me, so I'm dubious. Whoa! Oh man, he fucked my shit up. He fucked my shit up! Alright, well I'm doing that again. Holy fucking shit. I like tuned out for a second here. Holy shit. We can discuss things of another... Okay. Okay, cool. 
So maybe I gotta go through one of those fucking doors. Or maybe the maybe if I go back to the context sensitive thing, I can do something there. I honestly don't fucking remember. It's been so long since I played this fucking game. Feck off, crows. <laughs> oh man, he's guzzling that. How many more times? Okay, I can give him a beer now. Hell yeah, let's have a drink! That's fucking funny. Power of the night, pull the lever. Cool. Nice to know I just fucked up. Hardcore. Heavy metal music, Aiden French. Good evening, Robert and Anna. This looks fun and cool. Got my Friday black metal albums on Midnight Rebirth by Blasphemy, Venom, The Seventh Day of Hell, live at Hammersmith, Odeon 1984, uh, Nahima Arkasaji. I don't fucking know. Nice to see you, bud. Anna's not here. She's at work, but uh, it's nice to see you. I'll, I'll send her a hello, I suppose. Astolfo, that was a huge fall. Yeah, honestly, that felt unnecessary to me. That felt unnecessary to me. There we go. Come on. Punish Creighton. Gotta love a good body of he a good bottle of helium at night. Yeah, man. You never just like down a bottle of helium. I do it all the time. Ha! And there's the lever. Okay, cool. And then I can go through the door. Nice. All right, all right. Man, this game is kind of weird to control. Fucking hell! All right, you know what? At least the door's fucking open. At least the door's open now. Jesus Christ. No, no, go through the fucking thing, asshole. Jesus Christ. How's everyone doing out there? How's everyone doing? I can't imagine what it would have been like to play this game back in the day, because it's just, like, so fucking, like, weird and crude, and unlike anything else Rare or Nintendo did up to this point. Like, I, I can't imagine, like, the fucking mom that bought this game for their kid, because they're like, oh, yeah, it's like, it's got, like, a cute little cartoon critter on it, you know? Like, whatever. Oh, hello! Alright, I'm gonna... There's no need to scream. I should try pressing B and see what happens. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yo, I got a fucking frying pan. Holy shit. Oh, man, I fucked him up. Did you fucking see that? That seemed unnecessary. That seemed crude. That seemed crude and unnecessary. Heavy metal music of destruction, Aiden French. Have you heard Immortal is releasing a new album, Robert? Uh, War Against All, do you know Marduk, Robert? Because if you are, Marduk is releasing a... Yeah, I'm, I'm well aware, and I... Whatever. I don't really care. Marduk and Immortal, I don't really... I've never been a huge fan, and I'm not really going to start paying attention now, to be blunt. But hey, if, if people are pumped for that, good for them. I don't know. Just one of those things where I'm like, yeah, I'll, you can go have fun without me. It's all good. And we go hit, I hit him with the frying pan, yeah? Is that it? Yeah, frying pan. I mean, it fucking worked. Fucking worked, I guess. Shit. Fuck you. Eat dirt. P and S, I adore this game. It's currently my favorite video game ever, and I hope you're having fun with it. Yeah, man, it's cool. It's fun to revisit a classic. Come on. There we go. And then... This camera is not helping, though. All right, what do I got here? TNT. Just pulls out dynamite. Holy shit. Just fucking pulled it out. Nice. Astolfo, so today I learned there will be a movie about a bear who smoked cocaine, and the movie apparently is a true story, and it's going to come out in a few weeks. I want to see it. Dude, fuck yeah. That sounds fucking wild. I want to I want to watch that fucking movie. Do it. Blackwater Rust, Conker's Bad Fur Day, the video game that tricked my Christian parents into buying this for young Blackwater. Oh, that's fucking funny. This motherfucker talking like Professor Egad from Luigi's Mansion. Holy shit. 
Uh, Leonardo Ferreira, is this your first time? If so, you're in for a treat. Not really my first time, but it's been a while since I played this game. Like, a long, long while. I think the last time I played this game was in the... the I think it was when this channel was still called uh, Intoxicated Gaming. Because uh, my buddy David came over to my old place when I still lived with my folks in the basement. And uh, we, we played it. We lost all the footage. It's all good, though. I know I've played it a couple times before that, but it, it's been a while. Like, a while, a while. Heavy Metal Music of Destruction, what did you think of the new Panzerfaust album, The Sons of Perdition, Chapter 3? I know you're a fan of Panzerfaust. Do you know early, traditional, old-school, corpse-painted Panzer? Yeah, I thought it was solid. I thought the first two um, Sons of Perdition records were a lot better, though. Like, much, much better. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Kevin Mitchell, I'm looking forward for Paramore's new album. Dude, it is so fucking weird that Paramore, Fall Out Boy, and My Chemical Romance are all, like, back and have all put out new music. That is fucking wild to me. Uh, Stolfo, it's apparently will be called Cocaine Bear, and it's gonna come out on February 23rd. It's like, Who Killed Captain Alex, but... If it's like Who Killed Captain Alex, then I will have my movie of the year this year. Understandable. That sounds wild and fun. Mindful28, uh, good afternoon, Metal Meltdown. Hope all is well. Go ho uh, hope all is going well with you. Absolutely. All is going very well. We're having fun. I'm pr oh, he oh looks like the character sweared in game a couple times. Hell yeah. So I think I think that's two shots? I think that was two. All right. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Anti-gravity chocolate? Holy fuck, that's wild. Why is this, like, why is this kind of a bop, this little song? Da, 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 da. Oh, here we are, back at Nasty and Nice Lane. Here we go. Leonardo, I wanted this game so bad when I was a kid, but unlike Banjo-Kazooie and Tui, it wasn't on Xbox Live Arcade, only the remake. Yeah, the rare replay version of this is, like, the first time in years that this, like, came back out. Mindful28, are you familiar with uh, Minin Warfare? They have a new album coming out in March. Not familiar with that name at all, so no comment. Leonardo, this game has crazy good music, too. I mean, all the rare games, too. Like, all of them. I mean, you can thank Grant Kirk Hope for that. Banjo Kazooie is probably, like, one of my favorite, like, old school Nintendo soundtracks, along with, like, uh, Super Mario 64, honestly. All right, who's this? It's one of them fucking squirrels. One of them fucking squirrels. Heavy metal music of destruction. Here's a question. Just wondering, have you seen Panzerfaust? Li Sorry, I can't see this. Live, I saw Panzerfaust live 14 years ago when Panzerfaust was an underground traditional. I have not seen them live. Although they've, uh, they do shows occasionally here in Toronto. Because, I mean, they're, they're from this area. Power of the Night, the live and reloaded version was available for me, so I don't know why you can't find it. I mean, I don't think, it's not really available anywhere. Uh, I mean, the only version you can get is, like, here through Rare Replay. Unless you, like, buy, like, an old fucking version. Did he just ask me for a maxi pad? What? What did you, what? You fucking sober up, dude? Jesus Christ. Holy shit. All right, I'm gonna take this little chocolate. I can't take the little chocolate. All right, good to know. <laughs> All right, I can't just go up there. Good to know. Good to fucking know. Where else can I go? I can go up the mountain. I can go up this, uh... Well, it looks like a mountain, at least. Jesus! Why can't I just hit it with my frying pan? Alright, 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 fuck!
Is he dead? Did I get him? I think I got him. Alright, we're good. Bro! Bro, you... Bro. Get fucked. Bro! This fucking guy. This fucking worm. There we go. I can't hit him for some reason. Fucking hell. That's, I mean, that tells you how long it's been since I played this. Holy shit. How much is a lot? On my bike. Alright, well, fuck you too, bro. <laughs> nice. Kevin Mitchell, you should do Banjo-Kazooie someday. I'd love to do Banjo-Kazooie someday. I love that game. It's a fucking classic. Blackwater Rust, learning suffocation on guitar is fun and hard as fuck. I imagine. I'd be concerned if it was anything other than those things. Uh, Miguel Prats, are you playing the N64 version or the Xbox One remaster? This is the Xbox One remaster from Rare Replay. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Mindful28, what are your thoughts on depressive suicidal black metal? I've been getting into bands like Total Self-Hatred and Die Light recently. It's not really my thing, man. Like, I find I have to be in a certain mood for that kind of stuff. Bro, I tried to get the chocolate. I can't get the chocolate? All right, well, fuck you too. That's okay, because that means we get introduced to the, the Grim Reaper character and he teaches us about the Squirrel Tales. Tss, that's fucking silly. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't hate depressive suicidal black metal, but I just, I don't really want to listen to it. Like, I gotta be in a really good mood for that kind of stuff. <laughs> that's fucking great. This character is so silly. I love this guy. Leonardo, for me, post-black metal is absolutely goat tier and one of the best subgenres of black metal. Yeah, that and black gaze. Like, that's, if I want black metal, that's kind of what I lean towards. That gives me the emotion of something like depressive suicidal black metal without being, like, really overwhelmingly, like, depressing to the point of, like, being, like, harmful. L I mean, literally, depressive and suicide are in the fucking name, you know? Uh, Caleb Cottrell, playing a cult classic, aren't we? Hell yeah, man. I don't know, people have been asking for this, people asked for it pretty recently, and I figured I got some time, let's just, let's just play it, let's just have some fun. <laughs> According to the people who wrote this fucking game, and who wrote this script... That honestly explains a lot. Because squirrels are brave motherfuckers. Yeah. Smart arse, I'll count that as a swear. Take a shot, ladies and gentlemen. Like cats. Drowning the Light is probably my favorite uh, d depressive suicidal black metal band if they count. Uh, Leonardo for really good DSBM. Listen to Damp Chill or Life by None. Does Ghost Bath count as depressive suicidal black metal? Because I think I've, I've enjoyed a good chunk of their material. I love this character. He's so fucking silly. Post black metal is not real black metal. Yes, it is. All black metal is real black metal. You take that gatekeeping crap elsewhere. Take that elsewhere, my bud. Sorry. All right, Squirrel Tail. Hell yeah. Take a shot because we got a Squirrel Tail. Leonardo, moving power cords is harder than you expect. Act Blackwater Rust hurts my wrist. I gotta play more guitar. It's been too long. 
it was something I tried to get into, like, um, kind of after, or during COVID, rather, and I just never really, never really did. Don't even have a good answer, I just didn't. Oh, well, that time is done, eh? I remember trying to, but I don't know. Then I started doing more Metal Meltdown stuff. Blackwater Rust, DSPM is hit or miss. Thy Light in Woods of Desolation, Shining are the best in my opinion. Silencer, Zasper sucks. Oh, oh yeah, Woods of Desolation are great. They're that's a great fucking band. All right, yeah. So I guess I, I really like their stuff. Mindful Twenty Nine, Ghost Bath are good and don't deserve the hate they get. They seem to be more post black metal though. All right, fair enough. I remember I could have sworn with the last album people were calling that depressive suicidal black metal. But yeah, stuff like Moon Lover and the Stars, the one that came before that, are that's definitely like. Oh, bro. Okay, you got to get it in one go. All right, good to know. Good to know. We're going to make this happen. We're going to make this happen. Silencer's vocals are Chris Barnes tier. Oh, that's impressive. That's fucking impressive because, I mean, Chris Barnes is Chris fucking Barnes, you know? All right, all right. Did he call me shorty? Okay. There we go. I got the honeycomb. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Very nice. Power of the night, did you hear that sick? Oh my god, that bee was packing! How did they take the hive to begin with? He's packing heat! That's crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna count that as a swear too. Power of the night, did you hear that Six Feet Under might cover Rush on the next Graveyard Classics album? Yes, I've heard that rumor, and if that is true, I will... I will actually sue Chris Barnes on behalf of Rush uh, for defamation. I will, uh, I will be contacting my lawyer. I will be contacting Rush's lawyer. If if that's real, then we need to take fucking action. Caleb Cottrell, my big cat, uh, my pet cat, Big Smoke, says he wants uh, two number nines. Oh, good for him. Yeah. I know a guy who can like recite that whole thing as if it were a Bible passage. Kevin Mitchell, the worst cover still goes to Fur Gangster's Paradise. Oh, Falling in Reverse. Yeah, that one's pretty obnoxious. It's pretty bad. Uh, like a Virgin from Motley Crue comes to mind for me as like being one of the worst cover songs ever. Uh, Raw Power as well from Ministry. Um, actually, yeah, those two are probably tied. I fucking hate those songs. I never liked... Um, uh, I think Def did a Kiss cover, which I never liked either. I don't remember the song, though. They make up for it by having the cover of Judas Priest. So, you know, in a, in a weird way, it works out. Crocodile, what about About a Girl from Puddle of Mud? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely, that's definitely a not a good one. That's definitely one of the bad ones. Yeah, that'd be nice, I guess. Yeah, sure. Astolfo, uh, now nah, the worst cover ever goes to Six Feet Under's entire Graveyard Classics quadrology. I mean, yeah, true. I mean, uh, Six Feet Under and Chris Barnes does have a, a knack for just making really, really bad music, but especially with those fucking albums. Power of the Night, a modern day... Oh, I see. All right. I'm a day warrior. Meet me. Meet me inside. Today's Tom Sawyer. Mean in pride. There you go. That's what you're. That's what you're looking for. Dude, I wish money just walked up to me like that. That'd be great. And now I can whip out the instruction book. That's great. 
Okay, good to know. Then press L and B. Cool, good to know. I don't have an L button. Actually, I do. The left bumpers, I guess. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not looking forward to Chris Barnes butchering some Rush classics, like uh, doing like fucking. They call me the Working E or some shit like that. Doing like a uh, uh, Twenty One Twelve. I don't know. How how could no one have fucking? How could he have not learned his lesson from like, you know, <laughs> everything? I get a slingshot now? Cool. Oh, fuck. He fucked me up. Jesus Christ. There we go! Get fucked! Oh, they're all scared now. Look at them. Come get it. Come on! There we go! Get fucked! Get fucked, idiot! Let's go! Estelfo, honestly, if we're talking about worst covers, we have to mention the work, the best classic worst cover and that Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirva by Miley Cyrus. I didn't know Miley Cyrus did a version of Smells Like Teen Spirit, to be honest. I'm kind of, I'm morbidly curious now. Like, I'm weirdly curious about that now. I want to check that out for shits and giggles. That sounds kind of cool. I like Miley Cyrus in general. Like, I mean, there was a time when I definitely wouldn't have, but I mean... I don't know, that last album she did I thought was really good. Uh, I love I love that new song she's got out, Flowers. I think that's just fucking great. That's the boss girl anthem that 2023 needs. Leonardo Ferreira, what do you think is the worst Six Feet Under song? Uh, I don't know. They're, I, I hate Six Feet Under, so I'm probably not the right guy to answer that. Their cover of TNT makes me cringe the hardest, though. Like, that, that really fucking just makes me, like, want to die a little bit every time I hear it. That way smells a bit pooey. Oh, I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't remember. Are we doing the Great Mighty Poo already? Is that what this game is trying to tell me? That'd be fucking funny. I like how he's got, he's got to draw up a whole fucking like blueprint for how to fix the table. Like, bro, just put some, just. Put a get a new get a new fucking table, build a new leg. This is not a great this is not a great scientist. Just gotta say. P and S, who's the worst singer in your opinion? My answer is Jeremy Spencer. I think I'd agree with that. He's he's really bad. Uh, Chris Barnes, uh, the fucking guy from Panic at the Disco too. Like Jesus Christ, he's he's just too fucking much. He just freaks the fuck out. Power of the Night, I really want a reviewing every Rush album video that you've talked about. You know, I'd be down for that. We could do that, maybe around like Canada Day or something like that. Uh, Leonardo Ferreira, what do y'all think about the Walking the Cadaver? My, the first album is my biggest guilty pleasure. I don't remember anything from that band off the top of my head, so uh, no comment from me, I guess. <laughs> Two shots right there. Holy shit. Mm. Why is he talking like Fat Albert? Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's talking like Fat Albert. That's fucking weird. That's weird. Mindful29, are you looking forward to a new, uh... Oh god, what the fuck? I can't, I'm like immobilized. 
Holy shit, that is wild. Fuck off, Jesus Christ. Mindful28, are you looking forward to the new Ocean Collective album? Yeah, sure. Uh, Pelagial is one of my all-time favorite prog metal records, and I really liked their last few albums. Though, the ones they did about, like, I, Jurassic, Forensic, I can't remember what the name of it was. Okay, I've got to find some other way to get rid of him, because clearly just smacking him with a frying pan ain't going to do it. Uh, all right, let's have a look around. Something else I can do somewhere, maybe. I can't, I can't fucking see anything. Jesus, this camera. I can't fucking see anything! There we go. Hi, Bert. How you doing? Nintendo Guy Zero read the stream and immediately came in the stream and gave you my condolences. I can only pray for your liver. <laughs> pray, for, pray for you. Pray your liver has been uh, lifting weights in preparation for this. My liver is always pre lifting weights. I am lifting weights, and so is my liver. We are a okay. Thank you, though. I want. The, uh, hell yeah. Okay, and I give the I give the cheese to the mouse, and now the mouse is like, oh hell yeah! Now I can stop farting. I guess I don't know. I feel like the cheese would not help with him farting. I don't I don't fully understand the logic here. Gotta say. All right, here we go. Come on, little cheese. You're getting fucked. He's like crying because he he knows he's done. He knows he's done. That was nice. That was nice. Oh yuck. Sure. I'll just do that all over again. Blackwater Rust, that Kanye <laughs> cover of Bohemian Rhapsody. I forgot he did that. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I totally forgot about that. Dude, why did Kanye have to be shit? Why did Kanye have to be... Why did he, wh why did he do that? Why did he have to like wake up and be like, I'm going to be terrible? That man had so many bops and then he had to be a fucking Nazi. Like, what the fuck? Oh, I wish anyone who defends uh, Kanye West a very shit day. I hope they're having a horrible time. Alright, I gotta get the more, more cheese, I guess. I got squished. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Dude, using that frying pan is like weirdly fucking exciting. <clears throat> Stolf, uh, PNS, what's your favorite Disney movie? Mine is Princess and the Frog. A Stolf, the Rider of Black. Favorite Disney movie is Lion King 1 and 2. Those will never be beaten for me. Um, I'm going The Lion King, Aladdin, and Beauty and the Beast. I think all three of those are like literally perfect movies. Like, it, in my opinion, it literally does not get better than that. Like, it just doesn't. I love this fucking... He's still, like, crying, because he, he knows, man! He knows! Aw, oh, poor fucker. Honestly, consider yourself lucky that you're not... I'm not... Oh, where'd he go? Oh, man, he ran off good. Alright, here we... Jesus Christ, I never thought getting cheese would be so difficult. Kevin Mitchell, Angelic to the Core by Corey Feldman. Uh, the cover is just cringe. I mean, everything about that is cringe. I want to like Corey Feldman's music because he's been through so much, and say what you will about the man, but he's hardworking as fuck. But goddamn his music. It's, it's just so bad, and it's the definition of so bad. It's fucking incredible. Mindful29, Kanye West managed to be worse than Alex Jones somehow. That's a feat in and of itself. Dude, that's the funny part about that interview. He made Alex Jones uncomfortable. Alex Jones, for the first time in his life, had to be like 
the straight he he had he had to pretend to be the reasonable guy. That's fucking crazy. Like that is actually fucking insane. All right, come on. There we go. There we go. The mouse got the cheese. All right. Bro, come on! Why don't you go get some fucking cheese? Look at your fat ass. Go get some fucking cheese. What the fuck is this? Oh my lord. Astolfo, Kanye's cover is even worse now that this whole anti-Semitic uh, views came out. Uh, especially since Freddie Mercury was LGBTQ before LGBTQ was a thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure gay people existed in the 80s and 90s, but I... <laughs> Despite the best efforts of some. But yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's just so fucked up. I don't know. Fuck Kanye. It's just a really unfortunate... And you know, he's got kids, man. Like, that's... I don't know. I don't know, man. He did it to himself. If he he can blame the Jews for the destruction of if, of his career, if that fucking helps him somehow, but it's it's really all his fault. He woke up and decided to be a crabby person. If you're gonna be crap, ladies and gentlemen, take accountability for it. Understand what you're doing and that it has consequences. I mean, also don't be crap, but if you're gonna, then just fucking own up to it. Entity of Darkness, sorry I'm late to the party. I didn't want to get out of bed. It's all good, bud. No worries. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Oh my goodness. He literally died. You know what? I've definitely left like Vegas buffets feeling that same way, though. Astolfo, Kanye woke up one day and chose violence. I'm yeah, that, that actually sums it up, honestly. He literally did. He fucking literally did. Entity of Darkness, I like Treasure Planet. I remember that movie, it was cute. Astolfo, hey, cheese with rat flavor. I mean, yeah, I guess so, eh? All right, here we go. And then I can get the chocolate. What is this, a context? This looks like a context-sensitive button. Okay, here we go. All right, all right. Hey, there's money over here! Kevin Mitchell, this January we've lost a lot of musicians. Yeah, man, we got David Crosby and Jeff Beck in like the span of a week. It's so fucking weird. Hell yeah, I'll drink to that. Cheers, Conker. Mmm. Alright, uh... So, the, the door open... Okay, yeah. Bro... Is the door, was the, where was the door? Man, this camera is fucking my shit up. God damn. Perfect Cell 71, you a Daft Punk fan? Yeah, I like a lot of the Daft Punk stuff. Been a while since I listened to a lot of their stuff, honestly, though. Kevin Mitchell, and don't forget Lisa Marie Presley. Was she a musician? I always, I didn't know she made music, to be honest. I mean, don't, I mean, I don't want to downplay it. It's always sad when someone passes. Especially because she, I don't think she was, like, really old or anything. Oh, I, I also did not know that she fucking made music. Oh, come on. Oh, my God, this fucking camera. All right, all right. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right, all right. Astolfo, oh, Daft Punk discography review when? Uh, probably not for a very long time. It's 
Not really something I'm crazy interested in, but I don't know, who knows? I'm not saying no, but I'm not saying yes. I don't know, I'd, I think I, I would only want to do like a, one of those types of videos for a non-metal artist, like on a special occasion, you know? I have thought about doing it for like, I don't know, like David Bowie or Michael Jackson or some shit, you know? Like for shits and giggles. I don't know, maybe Daft Punk. Oh, come on, these fucking controls. Uh, I has Dave, thoughts on Gamma Bomb? I like Gamma Bomb. Uh, their, the 2013 album, Terror Tapes, I think is fucking awesome. Like, the, the riffs, the songwriting, it's just so fucking good. Bro! Bro! Oh my god, don't tell me I gotta do that all over again, then. God damn. I will say, the, the platforming is not as good in this as it is in something like Banjo-Kazooie or, or Super Mario 64. The controls aren't as good, the camera actively is working against you, and like, it's just kind of inconvenient. To, everywhere that you need to go is just kind of inconvenient. Like, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm having fun and I'm enjoying this, but I mean, if we're just looking at this from like a, a, a game design point of view, this is not perfect. This is far from perfect. Oh, 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 fucking hell. God damn it. Well, all right then. Caleb Cottrell, what do you think of the Callisto Protocol? I thought it was okay for what it was despite the repetitive combat and lack of enemy innovative. I don't, I don't think I've even, oh, is that the, the like spiritual successor to fucking Dead Space? I don't even think I've, I haven't even played it. So like no comment. Power of the Night, you can't go there yet. Well, then where the fuck am I supposed to go? I mean, it's pretty... This is where the fucking game led me. See, this is kind of what I'm talking about. Like, the ga game's... Well, good game design leads you to where you need to go, not to where you don't need to go. Crocodile, what's the worst movie you've ever seen, Robert? Probably Party Monster. Like, I fucking hate that movie. Um... I also really fucking hate uh, the 2016 Suicide Squad. Um, fuck, what else? I always hate the first Mamma Mia. It's not not even because it's like, oh, it's like really bad. I mean, it is, but more so because it's just a fucking annoying movie. Can't go there yet. Uh, in the barn. Well, where's the entrance to the barn? I can't find the door anywhere. I literally can't, I can't find the door anywhere. Doesn't help that this fucking camera, Jesus Christ, this camera. Oh my fucking God. Power of the night, the barn, yeah, I realized that the barn door opened, but where's the fucking barn? Like, where's the barn? I realized that the door is open, where is the door? Like, I don't fucking know where it is, and I can't see it because of this fucking camera. Right, I'm just gonna walk around, I guess. I don't know. Even though the game is leading me in a very specific direction, apparently that's not where I'm supposed to go. That's called bad game design, folks. Also, take a shot, because we lost a life. Mm. Thank you, though, Power of the Night. <laughs> I, I know it sounds like I'm giving you shit, and I, I am a little bit, but I'm also giving this game shit. Oh, all right, well, there's nothing down here, then. Blackwater Rust, the worst and simultaneously best movie I've ever seen is The Room. I mean, I wouldn't... The Room is bad, but at least it's fucking fun. You know? If you're having fun, then it is. Then is it really that bad? You know what I mean? Like, I could sit here and I could be like, oh, it's The Room is poorly written and directed and it makes no sense. And all of that is true. But it's fucking fun. Whereas, you know, something like Suicide Squad has those same issues, and it's not fun. It's dreadful, and I would love for that movie to just, like, die in a fire. I can't fucking see anything. Mindful29, I agree that the 2019 Lion Make remake is probably the worst movie I've ever seen. I don't know about worse, but it was definitely, like, the most... It was just bad. Power of the Night, stop going that way. Well, where else do I go? I can't go anywhere else. This is what I'm getting at. I can't go anywhere else.
All right, what's, I, I'm here now, I guess, I don't know. Uh, once again, if it, I don't know. This is not great game design. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I don't fucking care. Has anyone seen the four, the fuff, oh, this fucking camera, Jesus Christ. All right, is this something? Oh, fucking finally! Jesus Christ. Kevin Mitchell, what about Cats 2019? All right, dude, I can't I can't bring it in my I don't have it in my heart to hate that fucking movie. It's terrible, but I got really fucking high and watched it and I had like a religious experience. It was incredible. Yeah, you. Apparently What are you talking about? I think it's pretty neat. Bruh? Oh, Conker, you're about to die. You're about to die, bud. There's a little fellow over there. His turn to... Yeah, go kick his ass! Alright, alright, I'm gonna get a drink real quick. Power of the Night, yes, you found the way! Yes, I did. Uh, thank you, Power of the Night. It, it, thank you. I realize I'm not a, a great student, but you're a good teacher. All right, I'm gonna get a drink real quick. I'm gonna have some more fucking ale, cause why not? Or you know what? Actually, let's have. Uh, let's have, let's make a little rum and coke. Hell yeah, let's have a rum and coke. That's that seems uh, drinking game appropriate. Let's crank up the heat a little bit in here. How's everyone doing? What is up? I hope everyone's having a real pleasant time. Come on. What's everyone drinking? Right now I'm making myself a rum and coke with the Kraken Attacks Ontario. It's like a special uh, new brand of the Kraken that's available only here in Ontario because we're just that special. Actually, for all I know, it's, it's, it's elsewhere, too. I don't fucking know. There we go. Voila! Rum and Coke. What's up, everybody? What is up? Crocodile, it's funny how Jared Leto was in both uh, Suicide Squad and Morbius. Yeah, he, he was done fucking up DC, so he had to go fuck up Marvel. <laughs> Estelfo, quick, someone say something stupid before Robert returns, like, I love Six Feet Under. I mean, that wouldn't be believable. Here we go. Entity of Darkness, I haven't had breakfast yet, and I'm not feeling like food, so just drinking water. Uh, Entity of Darkness, never have booze on an empty stomach. That's always a good idea. Always. Velma, better than Breaking Bad. There's something stupid. Yep, that's definitely something stupid. Ryan Blanc, hello, Robert. How you doing, Ryan? Caleb Cottrell, Jägermeister for me. Fuck yeah! Hmm. Jack Coleman, I feel like Conker being a metalhead combined with his drinking in this game would have had maximum authenticity. I could picture Conker being into metal. I could also picture him just being into anything that was, like, raunchy and weird and stupid. All right. I got me a new drink. Let's do this. Let's keep going. <laughs> Another shot. Oh shit, three shots. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. All right, nine, nine shots. Holy fucking shit. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, I already had one, so that's two. Three. Four. Oh, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, man. I downed nearly the entirety of that jacking of the rum and coke that I just made. 
Holy fucking shit. <laughs> These fucking paint cans, man. Holy shit. Jack Coleman, oh Lucifer, you're gonna die, bro. No, I'll be alright. Thank you, though. Power of the Night, Rob's about to pass out on stream. No, I'm good. I got this. I'm good. Don't worry. I, lo I love I love y'all being so concerned, but I promise you I'm okay. If Robert feels that he can't do this anymore, he will simply stop. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Oh, that's racist. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, bring it. Oh, shit. All right. Pitchfork kind of brutal. Fuck, alright, he's actually kind of fucking me up. Bro, what the fuck? Oh, he's actually kind of fucking me up. There we go, all right. All right, all right, come on. Where you at, punk bitch? Turn around, you fuckhead. Oh, he fucking killed that guy. Oh, he killing me, too. Holy fuck. Get the pitchfork to attack the haystacks. Oh, I see. All right. I'm going to get this chocolate, too. Where's he at? Come on, pitchfork. Follow me. Come on. Come on, over here, motherfucker. Entity of Darkness, Robert with the willpower of a Green Lantern. Hell yeah, my dude. Ryan Blank, Robert is strong. I have hope, short kings. Death by paint cans, Home Alone style. Blackwater Russ, drunk Robert is extra Chad Robert. Damn fucking straight. Told y'all, I got this. I, I know when I'm done and I'm nowhere close to done. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, well, you know what? I got the thing, that's fine. I'll get fucked! Whew! This is fucking silly, and I kind of love it. Alright, alright. So, the, okay, just the two left. Let's go. Come on! Power of the Night, I'm Rob's guide in this game. That's a good idea. I'm gonna need a guide more and more as we keep going. I'm like, I'm like starting to feel all that rum. <laughs> who'd have thought that drinking like, who'd have thought that drinking an entire fucking rum and coke in like 30 seconds would fuck me up, eh? I'm still a firm believer that this is just not great game design, but fuck it, it's fun. Although I guess come to think of it, the pitchfork and the hay, that, that part makes sense. Finding the barn was weird though. Where did the pitchfork go? Oh, there you are. There we go. <laughs> oh, 
shit! Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna count bastard. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god, is he gonna kill himself? Bro, what the fuck? Is he actually gonna do that? 12! Oh my god! Bro. Bro. Oh my fucking god! Oh my god, they're mo- he's- oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Well, alright then. I'm not- I'm just gonna drink the rest of my rum and coke. I'm not gonna bother counting all those shots. It's... Just fuck it. I poured myself a large ass drink, and uh... Let's just drink the whole thing. Bottoms up, folks. Mm. Ah! All right, what? Uh, how? The uh, one second. Ah! All right. This feels like a good time to point out that my rum and coke is like seventy-five percent rum and twenty-five percent coke. <laughs> Jack Coleman, if you puke Rob, your puke becomes the next drink. Alright, deal. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Oh, that's... Oh, God. That would be some jackass shit. Alright. How's everyone doing? We just saw a fucking pitchfork try to kill itself. And there was an ungodly amount of swearing. Blackwater Us, my parents bought me this game. They thought it was a kid's game. I mean, like, from the outside, that's what it looks like. It doesn't look like what it is. I don't know, man. Crocodile, how did they not see the warning and the ESRB on the box? I mean, sometimes parents are just dumb. I mean, like, when I was, like, fucking 10, every parent was buying their kid, like, fucking Gears of War and Call of Duty, even though they were rated M. Parents don't actually really care so long as their kid shuts the fuck up. They only pair they only care when it's fucking convenient for them to care. Blackwater Rust, reek of pucrefaction. Yup. Alright. Cool. How's everyone doing? I'm gonna finish off my jack and i I'm my rum and coke. I kinda stopped for to read the comments. Oh, All right. Cool. Oh, God, there's his eyeball. Oh, oh, God, that's wild. All right, well. Cool. Ryan Blanc, new idea. Review every Limp Bizkit album. Nah, man, I'm already fucked up on booze. I, <laughs> you, want, you want a reviewing every Limp Bizkit album video? Fine, here it is. They're all terrible. Done. Fuck, alright, um, is there anything else I can do in here, or do I just go outside now? Blackwater Rust, 0 to 5 every album. I mean, in all seriousness, yeah, that's probably what I'd give it. Alright, well, good to know. Crocodile, Fred Durst Friday. Not here, not on the Metal Meltdown. Fuck Fred Durst, and fuck Fred Durst Friday. Did I already... Did I already pull this lever? I guess there's my answer. Alright, well, fuck. 
Uh, Astolfo, what's what's more metal, an, inan an inanimate object killing itself or a drunk squirrel? <sighs> I'm not even sure. Maybe the drunk squirrel. Bro? <laughs> it's you again. Same. PNS, what's an unpopular opinion? What's an unpopular opinion you have on music? Uh, all right, so 40 to 50 year old men whining about cancel culture is fucking lame and not cool. Um, it's, it's, I'm not even being like, oh, like, it's just stupid. It's just so fucking cringe. Also, uh, Lulu is not a terrible album. Uh, but Miss De, De Dom De Mysteries, the Mayhem debut album, that is, that's not a good album. Ah, oh, another swear. See, all right. Two swears, two shots. Jesus Christ. He's like, I'm out. Bye. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking great. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. This was fucking crazy. Jack Coleman, wow, those last two were scorching uh, takes. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty unpopular, pretty unpopular opinions. Also, my favorite Mayhem album is Grand Declaration of War. Uh, PNS, an unpopular opinion I have is that Led Zeppelin sucks. Damn, that is definitely an unpopular opinion. Lucky for you, there are no fucking fifty-year-old men here. Blackwater Rust, Lulu, I think, is the best thing Metallica made post Black album. To be honest, I mean, that's how I feel personally. All right, what up, Sunflower? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. I mean, you were be Oh my god, they really did give her titties. Look at that. That is fucking gnarly. Bro, this game's fucking wild. All right. I got to I got to like pause and get another fucking I got to get another fucking drink cuz I fucking like I already went through all my fucking rum and coke. Holy shit. Uh, Jack Coleman, uh, he wasn't talking about Mayhem's debut. If I heard him correctly, he was talking about Dom Sat Satanus. Yeah, Damon series Dom Satanus, Mayhem's debut album. Everything that came before that's an EP. Astolfo, unpopular opinion, Slayer peaked with Rain and Blood. I can't agree with that. I mean, South of Heaven and Seasons in the Abyss have plenty of jams. Honestly, um, like the, I, I would argue those two records are... are you know, I would argue South of Heaven is on the same level as Rain and Blood. I love both those albums. Um, it's Rain and Blood is definitely their best album, in my opinion. Perfect Cell 71, unpopular opinion, Battles is a decent album. Oof! Yeah, nah, that's a hard no from me. Blackwater Rust, unpopular opinion, Risk is a good album. I don't hate Risk. If Risk were released by, like, a 90s alt-rock, industrial rock band, I don't think it would have gotten as much hate. I'll say that. Caleb Cottrell, do you have a favorite industrial metal band? Mine is Early Ministry, Rob Zombie, Nine Inch Nails, the highly underappreciated American Head Charge. I don't know if I have like a... You know what? Author and Punisher. They're arguably not really metal. Not in a, a, a figurative sense, but I mean, their sound is heavy as fuck, and I've uh, really enjoyed uh, their take on like doom and industrial and like... Uh, 
like really just heavy oppressive music I, I think they're fucking great um i guess if we're counting code orange since they've gone industrial as of late then fuck it code orange uh yeah those are my answers i guess but i also love you know like the classic stuff like nine inch nails god flesh ministry i mean they're they're classics for a fucking reason all right i'm gonna switch things up and get some wine i downed that rum and coke so fucking quick holy shit let's get some white wine and let's drink it in a very special silver goblet that my wife picked up in st jacob's because uh, Anne and I, went, we went antique shopping a while back, and she picked up literally these silver chalices that we have, and we use them as wine glasses, because we're fucking, we're bougie, but in like a medieval way, I guess. And I'm also going to eat a fucking thing of jujubes. Oh man, that shit's good. Mmm. God, that's so good. All right, uh, what I miss? What I miss? Unpopular opinion: Super Collider is better than Saint Anger. I nah, maybe, but not by much. Like maybe, we're we're grading on a curve at that point. Uh, Crocodile, my favorite industrial metal band is Anel Nathrock, if they count. I would say that counts. Yeah, fuck it, I would say that counts. CPP, good evening, Mr. Meltdown. Good evening, CPP. How are you today? Jack Coleman, you heard it here, ladies. Rob is off the market. I mean, it's pretty well documented that I'm off the market. My wife has been here on the fucking channel. It's very well documented. Uh, Duang Chal P says, are you going to complete this game today, lol? Probably not. We're just going to hang out. Like I've said to people before, if, if you came to these streams looking for quality gameplay and shit, then you came to the wrong fucking place. End of story. Where am I? Whoa! Oh. Oh, okay, I know where I am now. Cool. Alright, uh, let's go back here. Let's go back through here. I, I feel like there's more I should be... Alright, I'm going to talk to the bee again, and maybe there's more I can do with him. Are they just doing the... I've already seen this. They're just going to they're, they're just gonna do it all over again, huh? Alright, fuck it, whatever, it's all good. Alex Flamer, unpopular opinion, but a lot of music becomes popular and successful because it sucks. Look at Imagine Dragons or any viral TikTok song. I don't know if that's fair to say, because, I mean, music is ultimately subjective. There's a lot of music that's really popular that I really like, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, Dua Lipa's very popular, and I really like Dua Lipa. Um, uh, fucking, like, Kendrick Lamar, Beyonce both had big hit records last year, and I really liked them. I don't know. There's definitely a lot of... It's all subjective. But I will say that there's, like, an increasing amount of pop music that's, like, really bad. And there's, a, there's especially a lot of music that's popular on TikTok that's really bad. Like, there's especially a lot of pop punk. Like, it's bad. You're pacifist. That's funny. Also, I'm going to take a couple shots because I forgot to do that with the, the Bee King earlier. Hmm. Oh. oh! Okay, okay, it's a good thing I went back because now I know what to do. Here we go. We need more bees? Where could more bees be? I don't know, where could more bees be? There was a bee guy earlier, wasn't there? Maybe we can talk to him. <laughs> All right. Um, all right, well, maybe the maybe the other bee king knows. I don't know. Let's talk to him. Okay, he got nothing to say. He's all pissy and sad. 
Alex Flamer, I'm not saying all music, there's still a lot of music that became popular and successful and is amazing. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah. Okay, yeah, I see, yeah, oh, cool. I don't know. There's, there's definitely an increasing amount of music that I feel that is really bad that is also really popular. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's all subjective. Like, whatever, you know? Like, I don't know. Jack Coleman, it's a good thing you picked this and not Donkey Kong 64. You need to eventually complete it, Donkey Kong 60. I don't intend to complete this game for the record, ladies and gentlemen. We are literally just having fun. If you, again, I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you came to the stream hoping that I would fucking whip out some master gameplay and that we're gonna do this all night, you're wrong. <laughs> you're in the wrong spot. There we go. I saw those bees in the corner of my eye. Oh my god, they really gave that sunflower- They gave her a little booty too! They gave her huge tits and a little booty! This is fucking crazy. This is so fucking crazy. Dude, wh how, how was Nintendo okay with this game? All right, that's not, I need more bees. Where are more bees? Duang Chai P, a great in flames video rev review video. I would agree with most of the scores. Thanks, bud, glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, I don't really feel like I whipped, I didn't whip out too many hot takes with that one. It's pretty commonly agreed upon which albums are the good ones and which ones are not the good ones. All right, so where the fuck is, where can I get more bees? Where can I get more bees? Ladies and gentlemen, feel free to let me know if you happen to know where I can get more, be can I get more bees in the barn maybe? I don't know, let's have a look in the barn, I don't fucking know. Maybe behind this fucking thing. I don't fucking know. Jack Coleman. Nintendo got more tolerant of adult content to an extent as time went on, especially as their competitors capitalized on games for an adult market. I mean, that's fair. But I don't know, man. There's a lot of stuff in this where I'm like... I don't know. It just seems weird to me that Nintendo let this slide back in the day. Like, because this is so against their brand. It's, it's just so against it. Like, even something like Perfect Dark, I'm like, well, whatever, because they did Goldeneye, you know? So it's not that much of a stretch. But this feels like a huge stretch. Uh, CPP, what do you think of Norwegian black metal? Uh, I'm indifferent to it. There are a lot of bands I really like. Like, I love Emperor and Enslaved. Uh, I like some stuff from Mayhem. I'm, I'm a little iffy on their discography as a whole. But, like, I don't give a fuck about Dark Throne. I don't give a fuck about Immortal. I think Burzum is, like, super fucking overrated. So, I don't know. I, I, I'm indifferent, all things considered. Alex Flamer, have you listened to Phoebe Bridgers? I love her. I'm, I've listened to some of her stuff, and the stuff I've heard I haven't really been super into. But, I mean, she's got, uh, she seems like a, a, a pretty talented songwriter, all things considered. I'm gonna chalk it up to, uh... Uh, this just isn't my cup of tea kind of thing. Oh, there's more bees! They're right there! They were right fucking there the whole time. Holy shit. Why can't I get their attention? Did they reset? Is that what happened? I'm confused now. Uh, I see. Uh, okay, so I gotta do this whole thing all over again. Got it. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Crocodile, France does black metal the best, in my opinion. Uh, the French black metal scene is pretty awesome. Really awesome. I, I would say I prefer French black metal overall over Norwegian black metal. I mean, Seth, uh, Alceste, like, there's just so much good shit out there. The, the Behemoth album from last year, they're French, if I'm not mistaken. That was great. Uh, Stolfo, the writer of Black, out of curiosity, what's a band you like that other people aren't too fond of? Fuck, I don't know. Um, kind of depends on the subgenre. 
Because, I mean, like... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, because I like a lot of stuff, so it's never really been an issue. Like, I don't know. People like what they like. I don't know. Um... I remember when I, when I came to the defense of the self-titled Suicide Silence album, people were like, whoa. So I guess, I don't know, maybe that's one. Blackwater Rust, I, I respect Phoebe, but I don't know, her music does nothing for me. Yeah, the, same. Uh, Mindful29, French black metal is amazing. I've been listening to Alcest Sakales de Lunes a lot lately. Well, that's one of my all-time favorite black metal records. I fucking love that thing. That's just a fucking perfect record, in my opinion. CPP, I think the Norwegian scene has loads of great bands, Mayhem being the best of the scene, but I 100% agree with you that Burzum is overrated. He made, like, one good album, the rest is boring. I don't even, I don't even think there's one good album. I think May, I think Burzum in general is just a crap band. It doesn't help that Varg Vikernes is a crap human being, too. Blackwater Rust, uh, Alces, Blood Us Nord, Death Spell Armega are um, awesome. Yeah, Blood Us Nord I fucking love. Um... Power of the Night, Ukrainian black metal is also amazing. Yeah, that White Ward album, for instance, from last year. That was fucking great. All right, now we got the other bees. Okay, so I got to do this again. So the other bees have to be around this area then. Because if they aren't, if I leave, then I have to do it again. Got it. Deal. Good to know. All right, all right, so where are more bees? Maybe this is where I can get the big bee to go. Get up! Get up, loser, come on! Can I go in here? Hey, Barry, look at this. All right, another drink. Here we go. Two drinks. Hell yeah. Three drinks. Hmm. I'll probably have to start over again, but fuck it. Bro? Bro, what the fuck? I just got fucked up by a bunch of, I buy those things. Jesus Christ. Blackwater Rust reviewing every Alcestor Blood Us Nord album one day. Maybe. That'd be kind of fun. I'd be down. Uh, Easy Bake Coven, what are your thoughts on Ulver's early material? It's good, but honestly, they, they peaked with the later stuff. Like, they've gotten, I think, better with the, the more recent material. I honestly think that. I want to see what's in the farm. I'm, I'm done with these bees. Getting flashbacks to my mom waking me up for middle school. Get up, loser! <laughs> there we go. All right. Jack Coleman, yeah, this part will suck if you're drunk. Take it slow is my advice. I got this. St Why do I have steak knives? Am I trying to cut the cord? Oh yeah, I'm trying to cut the fucking thing. All right. Well then what else are the steak knives for? Do you not see him trying to help you? There we go.
Easy Bake Coven, I don't know, man. Berg Bergat is my personal favorite Norwegian black metal record. Understandable. And for the record, this is not me saying that those early records are bad. I just think that, like, I just think that, um, uh, Over have gotten significantly more interesting as they've evolved and, and experimented. Like, their last couple albums I especially loved. Oh, fuck. All right, two shots. I'm keeping track. Just the two? All right. Thank you, Mrs. you saved my life. I was going to hang myself. <laughs> I guess by definition, oh shit. They're ready to kill that motherfucker. Holy shit. Aww. You're a good guy, Pitchfork. I'm sorry that I'm sorry that we fought at first. You're a good guy. Oh, he stuck his ass in his mouth. Hell yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Get fucked! Yo, he lights on fire. Holy shit. Uh, do uh, Duang Chai P, what's your favorite gaming system? Um, I mean, I grew up with, like, Nintendo and shit like that, so I'm tempted to say, like, the Wii or the Nintendo 64 or something like that. Ha! I, I mean, I also love my fucking Switch and my Xbox, though. Blackwater Rust Imperial Triumphant is awesome. Can't blame you. CPP, buff you asshole. <laughs> All right. Hell yeah. Three shots when this is done. Let's do this. Oh my fucking lord. Get fucked! Get fucked! PNS Robert, have you made any videos you're not proud of? Just curious. I have, but most of those videos just aren't on this channel anymore. Because if I don't like something, I just tend to get rid of it. Where the fuck are we? All right, let's take some shots real quick while they do this. Three shots. Ah, oh. there we go. Bro, what the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? Dude, this game's cool. Bro, look, this might not be the best gameplay-wise, but script-wise, this thing's pretty great. Bro. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do now, man. I don't fucking know. I'm dead! Oh, shit! Shots! All right. Mm. There we go. Dang Chai P says, What's the most hate you ever got for doing a review? Uh, Sangwa Sugabog comes to mind. Like, I, I made a bunch of brutal death metal chuds and fanboys real mad with that. Um, Sleep Token, uh, when the Sleep Token debut came out, 
a lot of death threats, a lot of angry comments. Uh, Wheels of Mercury made a response video. That was a, that was wild. Me and him are on good terms now, but it was just weird to see that in the good in the moment. Um, what else? I'm trying to think what else. You know, when I did the the Welcome to Horrorwood review, there were a lot of people freaking out because uh, apparently I just didn't get it. You know, I I was too stupid to understand the incredible fusion of of horror and metal that no one else aside from Ice Nine Kills had ever bothered to make. I genuinely don't know what I'm supposed to do with this motherfucker. Oh my god, I really don't know what the fuck to do. I don't know what the fuck to do, bro! Oh my god, if someone wants to look up what I'm... What? Bro, he's got a do not push button? Why does he have that? That's so weird! Bro, I don't even know what I'm fucking do- I have no idea what I'm fucking doing. I legitimately have zero idea what I'm doing. Final 29, I know you got a lot of hate for the Limp Biscuit review and Sleep Token. Yeah, Limp Biscuit was another big one. Like, that- that was, uh, not a popular review. All right, I need to get a, I Fuck, how do I hit that button? How the fuck do I hit that button then? How the fuck do I hit that button? Dude, Shang guy, I hit it with the pitchfork. Yeah, I mean, I get that, but like the pitchfork, I Fuck, man. All right, I hit it with the pitchfork. That's what I got. It's too high up, I can't fucking hit it. Climb that ladder, I fucking can't. Can I cl Oh, fucking hell. I'm like stuck here now, holy shit. I can't fucking climb this fucking pitchfork. I have zero idea what to do. Let, so, folks, peace. Someone look up a guide real quick. I legit don't know what to fucking do. I got no fucking clue at all. I'm, I legit have no fucking clue. I can't fucking climb this ladder. I can't get off this fucking pitchfork. I can't simply hit him. Like, I, I, I don't know what to fucking do. I, I'm looking up. I'm looking up a strategy guide. I don't know what to fucking do. I legit don't know what to do. Oh, I got no fucking clue. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, Hey Terminator. I can't climb the ladder, I can't get off the fucking thing, I can't hit the button because the fucking pitchfork doesn't fly up. I don't know what to do. I literally don't know. Conker and Frankie must go to the fucking, all I have to do is press, okay. That's what I've been doing! It's like, oh, you just have to hit the button. That's what I gotta do! Oh my fucking lord. All right, this is fucking ridiculous. Oh, 
Okay, sure. Sure, even though that's what I was doing the whole fucking time. Sure. Got it. Cool. Blackwater Rust, I think you got a lot of hate from Five Finger Death Punch fans except for the last review. Yeah, for some reason, the last review did not infuriate people the way that, uh... The way that previous videos about Five Finger Death Punch have. It's a little weird. I'm grateful for it, though. It's, it's nice to not deal with death threats. Bro. Thank God there's chocolate everywhere. Holy shit. Batman Gamer, I'm excited for the next Metallica album. I wouldn't say I'm excited, but I am, like, morbidly curious. Power of the Night, have you heard that Mertician are planning to release a new album? I mean, I hope so. All they do is tour. Which, I mean, fine, I guess, but, like, I don't know. Because they're, like, a meme band, too, so, like, why would you not take advantage of that, you know? Jack Coleman, we'll chalk that. We'll just chalk that up to drink reflexes. You must have been hitting the wrong, the wrong button, the button off, Rob. I mean, I feel like I was hitting the right button, but whatever. What the fuck ever. We're figuring it out. That's what matters. Wait, is this the? Okay, so this is the good one. And then I'd fucking lure them here. All right. Hell yeah. Mindful28, even Five Finger Death Punch fans realize how bad their last album was. Yeah, I mean, there were a couple people that still came to the defense of uh, Afterlife, but it definitely wasn't as bad as, like, you know, nobody was, like, vigorously defending that thing the way that they defended, like, fucking F8. Like, it seems as though the world is, is in agreement now that it's just not a good album. Oh my god, this camera. Oh, it doesn't help that I can't fucking see anything. Alright, maybe that one's already busted, because for some reason it doesn't seem to fucking... Ha! Yeah, okay, so yeah, that one's already busted. Fair enough. Fair enough! There we go! Come on, get up here. Come on. Come get your poo water. Come get your poo water! Jack Coleman, now we got it figured out. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Come on, let's go. Yeah, eat my poo water. Let's go! Yeah! Fuck yeah! Bro, he's still going? That's impressive, honestly. Alex Flamer, the music video for Living the Dream off of Five Finger Death off of F8 is super offensive and politically incorrect. Oh my god. I love how Five Finger Death Punch like fed into like all the like like COVID-19 is fake bullshit, and then they were like, oh we didn't that wasn't the intention. Like, they were straight up, in that video, they were like, yeah, f like, murder pol murder people, fuck mask, fuck COVID, fuck everything. It's like, bro, unbelievable. Alex Flamer, Zoltan Bathory even came out and said it's all, too up into, to, all up into interpretation, but there's blatantly offensive stuff in that video. Yeah, I mean, they make it pretty clear all through that video that they think that, like, wearing a mask or, like, having to get vaccinated is equivalent to, like, you know... <laughs> It's equivalent to some Holocaust shit, and, like, you know, Democrats are evil, and, like, like we have to fucking start a revolution before the fucking crazy mask people take over. It's so fucking stupid. It will never make sense to me how, like, I don't know. It, it was just bad. It was bad, bad, bad. Aww. That's not true, but I appreciate that. Easy Bait Coven, glad I could convince you to check out that Tribunal album that came out today. Yeah, man, it was fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. anyway, 
Visco Metal X, uh, have you heard about the new Cattle Decapitation Terror Site coming out in May? They already have revealed the artwork and the track list. Yeah, it sounds like it'll be neat. I've always liked Cattle Decapitation, though, so I'm, I'm down. Mm. Mindful29, I remember when you ranted uh, on the Living the Dream video and a bunch of people started some conspiracy theories on your review. Yeah, there were... All of a sudden, like, a ton of conspiracy theories and, and shit like that that people were spreading on the video. And I got flagged. I kind of got flagged as a part of that. Like, people, like, YouTube thought that I was uh, playing some part in spreading, like, COVID misinformation and, like, dangerous conspiracy theories. Plus, there were a lot of death threats levied towards me, so I, I just had to take down that video at a certain point. It, it became a matter of uh, safety. <laughs> what do I need steak knives for? Am I severing this? I think I said. Okay, I see. I think I'm severing this. I'm not sure what I'm doing, though. Oh, fuck. I don't know what I'm doing here. I mean, there's got to, okay, there's got to be something I can do here, I guess. I don't know what. I'm just throwing steak knives. Okay. I guess I'm trying to get them all in the water then? Okay, so be it. That seems like a really bad idea in my opinion, but all right. Somehow that's working. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, I get it, because if I get electrocuted, then I'll die. Got it. That makes sense, I guess. And I'm dead. Cool. Cool! Oh, now I'm dead dead! Oh my goodness! Mm. Drink more wine, fuck yeah. <laughs> I drowned in the poo water! Water Dive 122 Productions. Hey, Robert, been listening to tons of Motley Crue, remember, uh, Motley Crue lately. Do you remember the song You're All I Need from the Girls, Girls, Girls album? Not off the top of my head, but uh, in general, yes. PNS, who's the worst app? Who's the worst rapper in your opinion? My answer is Soldier Boy. My answer is Tom McDonald. Um, there's... He doesn't really have much actual flow. It's just kind of him copying the flow of other rappers. There's nothing unique about his style. And he's just like a, a total fucking uh, far-right snake oil salesman, and I hate him. Jack Coleman, four shots for permadeath? You know what? Fair. Suck it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. This is probably a bad idea, but fuck it. Blackwater Russ, funny that Five Finger Death Punch sold masks while having the Living the Dream music video. That's funny. They were one of the first bands to sell face masks and shit like that. Like one of the first big rock bands and they were complaining about it in a video. It's like, bro, pick a fucking side. See, that, that shit I hate. Like... It is so fucking easy to dupe people. Like, being a far-right grifter is so fucking easy. It's fucking unreal. Like, people fell for that shit in the Living the Dream video and then didn't question it when Five Finger Death Punch was still selling masks. Like, what the fuck? Unbelievable. People are so fucking stupid sometimes. The Prison Meddler. Worst rapper is uh, 6 9 I would... Yeah, I, you know what? He's up there. He's fucking up there. I do not like him at all. Jack Coleman... You're, I was kidding, dude. Your liver can't take it. All right. I call your bluff. My liver can't take it. Let's go. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> ah! How many shots have I had? I feel like it's a lot. I feel like it's a lot. It feels like a lot. Uh, let's take a break for a second. Let's just chill out and talk. What's up, y'all? Let's, let's just talk. Let's just snuggle. What's going on? 
203, the worst is Iggy Azalea. Another good choice. Another very good choice. No skill, no flow whatsoever. Her freestyles are horrible. She's a fucking hypocrite, too. Power of the Night, Violent Restitution is one of the best thrash metal albums ever. Top 10. Um... If I'm going to pick a Razor album for my top 10, I'm personally going Evil Invaders. Personally. Christ Tispies, you mean Snitch Nine. <laughs> yeah, I guess I do. It's so funny that, like, he was, like, the hottest rapper for a while. Like, he had so many big fucking hits. And, like, everyone wanted a piece of him. And then, like, ugh, he just fucking, like, fucked up. He fucked up too hard, bro. Caleb Cottrell, drunk yet, lol. Not yet, but I am starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel it. The room is starting to spin a little bit. Astolfo, uh, worst rapper, MGK? I guess. I think his rap stuff in general was uh, better than the pop punk stuff, in my opinion, at least. Duang Chai P, any cure you have for your hangover tomorrow? No, my cure is to get up and just live life. I don't give a shit. I've only ever had a hangover like twice in my life. Like, I don't care. I've, I've, I, I go out drinking all the time. I don't get hangovers. All right, let's do this. Can we skip this? Okay, we can. Good to know. Let's go. PNS, I got a drink recommendation. Flaming Kamikaze, beer and Pepsi. What, what, what the fuck? That sounds disgusting. Is that the name of the drink? Just, so is the name Flaming Kamikaze and it's got like beer and Pepsi in it? That sounds disgusting. Also, what beer? Like, can I pull out some artsy fartsy fucking craft beer or are we talking just like Molson? Because I've got like, I've got like fucking uh, ales and like strawberry rhubarb fucking craft beer. Like, we don't have normie beer in this household. Oh my god. Oh wait, there's one right behind me, isn't there? Okay, there we go, there we go. And now I can jump from the fucking other thing, I guess. No, I can't. Okay, good to know. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? We definitely showed it yeah, we definitely did. Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna take a sh I'm, I'm gonna take a break on shots for a moment just so I can get out of this fucking area. Uh, Jack Coleman, focused on the lowest cables first. Cool, that's a good idea. I'm gonna follow your plan. Your plan makes sense. Uh, the Prison Meddler, the worst rapper in my opinion, is Lil Wayne. You know what? Solid choice. I'm not a fan of Lil Wayne. I I, I don't really like his heavily auto tuned style. I don't really think he has anything really interesting to say in his lyrics. And he also is responsible for Rebirth, which is like an objectively horrible album. So I can I can live with that choice. Fun fact, uh, Lil Wayne was almost on a Limp Biscuit album. I don't know if some of y'all remember, but back in the day, when Limp Bi like in like 2013 or 14, when Limp Biscuit, it looked like they were actually gonna release an album. And he fucking like did a song. Lil Wayne did a song with Limp Biscuit, and it was really fucking cringe. Like, even Limp Biscuit fans couldn't defend it. Alright, I think I'm good. Now I move to the next area. Let's go. 203, how do you feel about Metallica's new singles? I thought both of them were fine. Uh, I feel like people are, like, expecting, for some reason, expecting that this new Metallica album is gonna be, like, Master of Puppets 2.0. That's very fucking silly. I don't know why you people think that. Um, Metallica are doing pretty much what I would expect a band in their position to be doing at this point in time. And they're having fun, and they're making, like, halfway decent music. I mean, it's not, like, amazing, but, like, I've heard way worse. So whatevs. 
I don't know. I don't hate the new singles. I actually like Lux Eternal a lot. I, I, I'm not as big. I'm not as into Screaming Suicide. That was a weaker song for sure. Is that all of them? Oh shit, no. There we go. I think we're good now. I think we're good now. All right, yeah, we're out of here. Fuck yeah. Yeah, motherfucker. Let's go. All right. Hey, we got some money. Look at that. Fuck yeah. Oh, that's great. PNDES, who's the worst YouTuber in your opinion? I'd have to say J Station. Music of Destruction. Music of Destruction. All right. I did it. I got the fucking uh I got the money. I made it out of the fucking thing. Very nice, very cool, very good. What's here now? What is this? Oh, yo, now I'm on the fucking... Am I outside the barn again? Yeah, yeah, okay, so this is where I was trying to get to earlier. Jack Coleman is a guitarist for 23 years. Lil Wayne's guitar playing hurt me. Oh, my God. Easily one of the worst guitar players, like, fucking ever. Jack Coleman, there are too many terrible YouTubers to think of. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's also, like, I hate Scale It Back. I think he's just a fucking punk bitch. Uh, Zach D, he's just boring. Like, ugh. Uh, Razor Fist or the Rageaholic, whatever the fuck he's calling himself nowadays. And, I mean, there's also, like, the influencer YouTubers who are just, like, really, really crappy and gross and shitty. People like, and people like Shane Dawson and all that. There's a there's a lot of good a lot of good solid choices out there. Whew. All right, all right, all right. We've made it up this far. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Because now the thing's empty, yeah? Yeah, look at that! Yeah, nice! There we go. I don't even know where that is, but we did it. Razor Fist, at least he had the Metal Mythos series. I mean, I guess, but I don't know. I just can't stand his fucking rants. Like, every time he goes on a political rant, I want to tell him to shut the fuck up. Because his, his takes are so, like, fucking basic, too. Like, it's not even anything like that, like... I mean, he thinks he's saying some really fucking... He thinks he's laying down fire, but it's just, like... Democrats bad! Like, alright. Like, that's the gist of every so-called political take that he has. And there's no nuance to it whatsoever, and he just sounds like a fucking baby. Like, if you want to talk politics, fine. Let's talk politics. Like, I'm an adult. Whatever. But, like, most of his so-called takes are just, like... It's like the most like baby brain shit ever. Oh, here are the other fucking Those are the other bees. Ah, oh, cool. All right. All right. That's good to know. Sorry. Right, so let's go talk to the sunflower cuz now I know where to get the other bees. The Batman gamer says GG. Nice to hear from you Batman gamer. Enjoy the rest of your night. Blackwater Rust, Screaming Suicide is like a B-tier track I would find on Reload. Yeah, it kind of feels like, tone-wise, it kind of reminds me of, like, Garage Inc. Um, or maybe even, it even feels like it could have been left over from the previous album, Hardwired to Self-Destruct. It's fine. Like, I, I, you know. Yeah, okay, yeah, the big, long, hairy tail, blah, 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 blah. Let's go get the bees over here.
Do I have to go to the ones back there first? Fucking unreal. Alright, alright, it's fine. It's fine. It's fucking fine. We'll make it happen. It's all good. There we go. Alright, now I learned how to skip cutscenes. That's also good to know. The politics are brain dead cringe. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's there's nothing. He's got nothing actually interesting to say. He just wants to whine about black people and Nancy Pelosi. Like, fuck off. Blackwater Rust, Lux Eterna was way better. I love the Kill 'em All vibe on that one. Yeah, I like. I will say in general, I like that uh, Metallica is just like bracing, embracing like really old school kind of heavy metal shit. Like Lux Eterna felt like. Diamond Head and Motorhead fused into one. Where are the bees? Come on. Come on, bees! Let's go! Nice. Alright, so now I need the other thing of cash. Oh, down here. That's right. I opened this up. And there's a fucking yes! Hell yeah, take a shot because we got a fucking tail thing. And we got some money! That's nice. Alright, shots again, folks. Mm. Huh! Alright, so now I need to... All right, now I need to get to the fucking the other bees. How do I get up there without going through the fucking... Because if I, if I walk through the barn again, I have to start all over. PNS, what's the worst political album you've ever heard? I'd have to say the Theory of a Dead Man album that came out in 2020. Uh, I mean, Tom McDonald put out something recent. Uh, I can't remember. It was a collab album. I can't remember who he, who he worked with, but the album was called The Brave, and that comes to mind. Um... The new Kid Rock album, honestly, like, fucking, I mean, that was so fucking bad. It was, like, scary how bad that album was. Um, yeah, those, those are my two answers, I guess. There's also, like, um, I mean, not really album-wise, but, like, uh, the guy from Stained, Aaron Lewis, has, like, made a lot of really cringe fucking political songs. Prophets of Rage, too, because they're just, like, diet rage against the machine, and they have the most basic bitch political takes ever. Like, it, it Prophets of Rage felt like if Rage Against the Machine was, like, if, if Hillary Clinton was the lead singer for Prophets of Rage, for Rage Against the Machine, that's what that feels like. Blackwater Rust, the Tom McDonald, Adam Calhoun album this year. Yeah, that's the one, that's the one, The Brave. That was so fucking bad. I barely made it a few songs into it, it was so bad. Alright, so I need more bees? Alright, where do I get more bees? Also, Ministries Americant was terrible. Oh, yeah, fuck that album. Same with their uh, preview, the one they just put out like a bit ago, Moral Hygiene. That was bad, too. Catharsis by Machine Head is awful. Oh, my God, yeah, the most like bleeding heart liberal shit ever. Like. Just, like, nothing to say except fuck everything. Which, you know, fuck everything can be a good statement in and of itself in the terms of, like, you know, some politically neutral or, like, some uh, anarchist, like, hardcore punk. Or even, like, in the vein of, like, some old-school thrash. But, like, I don't know. Like, Rob Flynn really thought he was, like, he really thought he was doing some shit there. He really thought he was doing something really fucking fire. And he just wasn't. All right, uh, where do I find the bees? Ladies and gentlemen, and uh, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, if you could let me know, where do I find the bees here? I need to find the rest of the bees. If you could let me know, that would be very nice and good of you. Please and thank you. I feel like I should have got, I feel like I should be fine. I don't know why I need to find more bees.
Jack Coleman, I mean, ministry's always been like that. They basically write songs about hating Republicans and heroin addiction. I mean, that is that is true, to be fair. But, like, I don't know. Oh, oh, fuck off! Boo! Boo! Alright, another drink, I guess. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Let's make me an- I'm gonna have another rum and coke. I gotta start that all over again, too. Fucking hell. Fucking hell! I have another juju. Where is my rum? Why is the rum gone? Oh, there it is. I wonder if my neighbors ever listen to me, like, drunkenly ranting and doing stupid sh stuff, and if they're like, what the fuck? Jack Coleman, Rob Flynn, forever. Oh, I still have some wine here. Let's finish that first. Uh, Jack Coleman, Rob Flynn, forever has my ire for refusing to take part or even acknowledge violence anymore. I don't blame him for not wanting to be a part of violence. Like, he's moved on, you know? But the fact that he won't even, like, acknowledge violence, I think that's kind of fucked up. Like, at least Devin, Town Devin Townsend doesn't want to do Strapping Young Lad anymore. He's made that very clear on a number of occasions, including in my fucking interview with him. But he still acknowledges that they were a thing. Rob Flynn, on the other hand, is just like, uh, what, violence who? <laughs> who, no, new, new phone, who dis? Uh, PNS, what's your favorite animal? I have to say foxes. Foxes are too goddamn adorable. Uh, I love uh, red pandas. Red pandas are fucking... I would die for a red panda, without question. Um, bearded dragons are cool. Parrots. Uh, gorillas, because they're just fucking cool. Uh, tigers, because they're beautiful. Yeah, those are my favorite. Also, uh, anything I can eat. I like any any animal that I can eat is automatically a good animal. A very good animal. All right, all right, take a shot because I fucking died. Jesus. All right, we're gonna get we're gonna get all these fucking bees. We're gonna do it. Oh fuck, I got lucky there. I think I would have died. All right, so we gotta go to the we gotta go to the sunflower again. And then we gotta fucking, like, we gotta get all the bees. I can't believe, I, I can't get over how they just gave that sunflower the biggest, roundest titties ever. It's fucking unreal. Like, why? Why would a sunflower need to have big old bitties? Why would she need that? Astolfo, Robert, take a shot if you see this. I dare you. Got it. That's that's on you, Stolfo. I just finished off all the wine. Ticklish flower. Conquer, you should know this. We've done this like four times. <laughs> like fucking unreal. Yeah, that's how it work. Ah, da, da, da. Caleb Cottrell, I like polar bears. Polar bears are great too. Jack Coleman, love Devi. Devi's a class act. He really is, man. Devin Townsend's awesome. That interview I did with Devin is is uh, one of my favorites here on this channel. Although I'm really happy with uh, the interview that I recorded today, also with uh, Devin Swank from Sanguasugabog. So uh, yeah, a little heads up, folks. Uh, the one I did with Alex Webster is also a favorite of mine. I like all the interviews I've done here, honestly. Um, one of my favorites to this day is still the one with Blothar. I, I didn't get too long to talk to him, but it was just really cool to fucking, like, <laughs> to talk with that character. Like, it's just so fucking weird. And he was such a cool sport about everything. Like, we talked about fucking Gutfeld and dildos and all kinds of stupid shit. Like, that was a really fun interview. God damn it. Jack Coleman, the scary thing is that's a half decent conquer impression. I wasn't even trying. That makes it actually scary. Not even. Damn. I mean, he's basically just doing like a, a really shitty junk voice the whole time. Like, that's it. 
He's just like, ah, 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 ah. that's it. There's no, there's nothing to it. All right, so since there's apparently like a weird amount of fall damage, I'm gonna take the long way. There we go, there we go. And then we're gonna guide them to the thing. Oh, gob, 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 gob. Say, Robert, is there any album that came out in last December you wish you could have talked about or add to your best worst list? No. Um, with the exception of the Darko US and the Lord of the Lost records that came out kind of out of the blue on the 30th, um, I was already aware of every album coming out in December, and I had already heard... I had heard enough from those albums to know that they wouldn't make either list. You know what I mean? Like, I just knew. I knew that fucking, like, Blood Clot was not going to end up on my best of the year list, and it also wasn't going to end up on my worst of the year list. Like, it, it just wasn't. Same thing with the Bro Job EP, even though that kind of also came out of the blue. Like, I don't know. It's usually pretty safe to put out your, your best of and your worst of, of list, like, at the end of November going into early no December. Plus, it's easier for me because, like, I'm a chef and I work full-time, and December is a crazy time of the year. So for me, it's easier to just get those videos out of the fucking way so that I can move on to other things. I don't know. Kevin Mitchell, Robert, are you going to see uh, Metallica 72 Seasons Tour with Ice Nine Kills? No, I'm not paying $1,000 to see one of the most annoying modern metalcore, metalcore bands and also a bunch of boomers. I, I had fun seeing Metallica back in 2015, 2016, something like that, but I've, I'm not gonna fucking, like, I'm not going to spend what I could use for rent or groceries on a concert ticket. I'm just not. If a concert ticket is over $100, I have no interest anymore. Like, I, I, inflation, man, rent is expensive, groceries are expensive, cell phone bills, like, all that shit. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not giving, if you go to that show, more power to you. I'm not trying to give you shit, but I just don't care anymore. I just don't fucking care anymore. All right, so now I need to... Kevin Mitchell, they also included Five Finger Death Punch. I don't get why. I know why, because Five Finger Death Punch sells records. <laughs> That's why. I love it when people are like, oh, how could they do that? Like, why would they tour? Why would a big stadium rock band tour with another big stadium rock band? Like, did, did y'all really expect them to take, like, fucking... I don't know, carcass or or obituary on the road with them? Like, I don't know. I would, like, Metallica's, they've gotten really buddy-buddy with uh, Greta Van Fleet as of late. They did a bunch of shows with them last year, and they're doing a bunch more with them, like, this year, too. Because, like, they're a fucking, like, they're a young band, so Greta, they can say that they support, like, new music, unlike most fucking boomer rock bands. But they're also, like, absurdly popular. All right, here we go. I got. All, I think I got all the bees. I don't know. I don't know where there could be more at this point. Do we need more bees? Can I go talk to the king bee? I'm gonna talk to the king bee. I can't. All right. All right. So then, where I do I I need more bees? Unfucking believable. Where do I get more bees? Don't tell me they're up on the fucking platform. I don't know what the. You know what? I'm just gonna. I <laughs> like. I'm gonna type in where are all the bees on Google. 
Where are all the bees? Bro, Google knew exactly what I was doing. Holy shit, this is great. How many bees? This is crazy. Is located in a secret context sensitive zone. Leap into the What? On the rocks surrounding the cheese wedges. Okay. Where were the cheese wedges again? Let's switch back to the stream for a second. Hey, Robert, what if you got featured on a Metallica song as a backing vocalist? I mean, that'd be cool, but I cannot picture that happening. But I mean, I'd be down. Who the fuck, whoever the fuck would say no to that, like the chance to be on a Metallica song is a fucking moron. Like straight up. I wanna be the motherfucker like, like, uh, yeah, yeah. Can, so for part of my fucking performance, can I fucking tell people to check out the Metal Meltdown? You know what I mean? There's apparently like a secret context sensitive zone. Did I read that correctly? All right, let's see. Ah, all right, fuck it. No. Oh, wait, what? No, there's actually something cool. All right, I gotta, I gotta figure this out. There's apparently, like, a secret here. And I didn't even know about it, but it, it might actually end up being useful. So let's actually see if we can figure it out. I got the bees, like, right here, yeah? Leap onto the rocks where Bert has been standing and follow the ledges counterclockwise to the left of to the left of where the bees are located is a secret context sensitive zone. Just hit just leap in the air and press B as soon as the light bulb goes ting. Alright, I'm doing it. I found them like right here, yeah? Come on. All right, fuck it, whatever. Let's just get the bees. <laughs> I've already tested fate enough times. Let's just get the bees to where they need to be. Fuck it, whatevs. Ah, shit. Oh, okay, I'm good, I'm good. Alright, come on, there we go, there we go! Show me that- Oh my goodness! Them big old titties! PNS, it's in the middle of the area. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe circle back around. Oh my god. Conker's watching them. Fuck. Dude, this game is wild. Jack Coleman, I mean, you did see them at the Big Four shows. I did not. Uh, but I, I did see them with... I saw them. It was, a, it was at the Rogers Center, and they were... Opening for them was Avenged Sevenfold and Volbeat. And it was, it was fun. It was very fun. <laughs> Same. Hey. N can I bounce on her titties now? Oh my god, that is fucking crazy. Dude, what the fuck? Alright, so that's how I get the money. And she's like, yeah, jump on my titties, bro. Fuck, alright, um, 
I gotta like. Come on, how do I? There we go. There we go. When in doubt, ladies and gentlemen, titty bounce to victory. There we fucking go. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's go. Let's have another rum and coke. Let's do this. Da -da 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 How's everyone doing? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Kevin Mitchell, I I wouldn't be a fly on the wall, but I imagine the parents' faces when they see that scene. Uh, Alex Flamer, maybe Zach and Charlie aren't rich, but they're still well known in the mainstream rock metal community. They're probably both doing well financially. Z Zach Wilde and Charlie Bennett are probably doing really well money wise. Like, you know, keep in mind Zach Wilde is getting those Ozzy Osbourne royalties. Plus, Black Label Society are a big band in their own right. Jack Coleman, are we taking shots for getting rich now? No, but I have to catch up on some swears and shit. I think I just have to catch up on one, mind you. <coughs> ah! I'm starting to lose track, not gonna lie. Oh, man. All right, um, uh, let's, let's go find that squirrel tail. Someone told me that I can still get it, so I'm gonna go look for it. Alex Flamer, no, I don't think that, but I do agree with uh, Rob that this Pantera reunion is a blatant cash grab nostalgia sales regardless of there being much more interesting bands in the underground. I don't see how this Pantera reunion is not a cash grab. I don't. If Phil Anselmo wanted to pay tribute to Dimebag and Vinny, he could have just, like, done so? Like, it's not hard. Like, he was doing a Pantera set with his solo band, The Illegals, for a while. You know, like, this was not something that needed to happen. The Headbangin' Princess. This is the first stream I caught. Howdy. How you doing, the Headbangin' Princess? I hope you're having a, a real fucking pleasant evening. Apologies if I sound like an asshole. I've had a quite a bit to drink. I don't know. You know what? I'd rather just move on instead of looking for this extra fucking tech zone, whatever the fuck. I think we've done almost everything there is in this area, so let's move on to somewhere else. Let's let's go back. Kevin Mitchell, what band should retire? Uh, Ozzy should retire. I mean, I know it's not a band, but he should retire. Honestly, any band over the age of 40, like, it's time. Like, make some room for the young, new, hot bands, you know? Um, like, Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, Alice Cooper. Like, just, just let it go. You got nothing left to prove. Your peak years are long behind you. Just just move on. Crocodile, it's actually a message retracted. <laughs> message retracted. Good call. All right, what's, what was down here again? I don't know. Here's another area. What a stink. Oh, is this the Great Mighty Poo section? Yo, the Great Mighty Poo. Oh, I'm so pumped. Great Mighty Poo. Let's go. Let's go, Great Mighty Poo! Oh, this is great. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a piss real quick, ladies and gentlemen. I'll, I will be right back. Oh man. Oh my god. Man, standing up is weird right now. I'm really happy I bought that little pack of candy at Farm Boy, cause like, oh my lord. All right, nobody do anything stupid while I'm gone. Not too stupid, at least.
Alrighty, I'm back. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm gonna work out real fucking hard tomorrow to make up for all this shit. What's up, everybody? Mandatory retirement at 40. Geez, I'm 36. I better get on it. <laughs> Dude, retiring at 40 would be fucking awesome, unironically. No, but I, I think if you're like, if you're a, if your band has been around for over 40 years, then like, it's time. Because at a certain point, you have to make room for the new bands so that they can continue to expand and evolve and grow. Like, let's put it this way. A band like Death Heaven or Code Orange, who knows, maybe they could headline a big festival. We don't fucking know. Because they haven't been given the chance. Poppy could do it. Fucking uh, Bring Me the Horizon could do it. We don't know because they haven't been given that opportunity because we're always giving the headlining slot to Judas Priest or Megadeth or Alice Cooper or Def Leppard or another rock or metal band that's been around for 40 fucking years. You know, like if, if music is to evolve, then it has to do that. It has to evolve. It has to bring in new things and leave the old behind. Genres and scenes that fail to adapt will die. And if you don't believe me, feel free to ask f what happened to fucking glam metal back in the day. They couldn't adapt to grunge and groove metal and alt metal, so it fucking died. It couldn't keep up, so it died, and it's still gone. Crocodile, Music of Destruction is the greatest YouTuber. Another stupid thing. Yeah, that's a very stupid thing. <laughs> God, that, that Music of Destruction can actually go fuck himself. It's unreal. He actually tried to message me maybe like a week and a half ago, tried to apologize out of the blue for like years ago. He called me a fucking, he told me I was a fucking retard and I should be lobotomized for liking Death Heaven. And he tried to apologize for it finally like a week and a half ago. Fucker couldn't even remember what he was apologizing for. And when I told him I'm not going to accept your apology, he like got visibly upset. Like what a fucking loser. Fuck Music of Destruction, if you're listening. If you're not, whatever. Fuck you regardless. Bro, you needed a blueprint for that? Just buy a table! Go to Ikea, bro! Go to fucking... Like, I could get a table right now. I can buy a table on my fucking phone. That's how I bought my fucking dinner room table. I literally bought it on fucking Amazon. It came here and I put it together. Power of the Night, imagine if glam metal made a return like pop punk. I mean, I guess it's possible. There was like a brief period in the late 2000s where like you had Steel Panther and the Darkness who were like pretty popular. And Blackville Brides was like kind of bringing in some glam influence. But I mean, that was like a brief period and like, I don't know, it was not enough to bring back glam metal. Jack Coleman, people that don't seem to understand you are at the mercy of the person you're apologizing to piss me off. That's the fucking crazy thing, man. Like, he, he just expected that I was going to accept an apology from him for an incident that he couldn't even remember doing. Like, he was like, I, he, did, he didn't even know what he was apologizing for. Why on earth would I accept that apology? Like, what the fuck? I told him, I don't need your apology. I don't fucking need it, bro. He only, want, he only wanted me to accept his apology because he wants to get on those fucking live streams with gas max and hand grenades and, like, the dreadful minutes because he fucking tuned into that elitism thing way too late. Like, you're, you're fake as fuck, Music of Destruction. You're so fucking fake. And I have the fucking, I have the fucking uh, DMs to prove it. Fuck that guy. Astolfo, the Rider of Black, what would be this Game World's Ikea? I mean, I don't know, but I bet it would have big tits and there'd be shit all over the place. How you doing? <laughs> hey, another drink! Let's go! Two, <laughs> two drinks! Three drinks! Oh my lord! Four drinks! Four drinks, five drinks, because he said crap. Oh, my lord. God bless this game. Six? I was about to take the drink. All right, all right, all right. How, how many was that? Four? Let's go. Oh, character in-game drinks. That's five. <laughs> five shots. Two. Three. 
four, five, five, bro, they mixed farts into the score, brilliant, 10 out of 10, oh my god, this is, I'm, I'm starting to feel it, the rum is, I think after I finish this rum and coke, maybe we'll keep playing, but I think the drinking game will have come to an end. Bro, they mixed farts into the fucking score. That's brilliant. That's fucking actually brilliant. Finally, a fart joke that's making me laugh. <laughs> Take lessons, Brian Posehn. <laughs> Oh, my lord. Oh, shit! Oh, okay, never mind. All right, we just got an endless tunnel, I guess. Fucking hell. All right, so where the fuck do I go, then? Do I go... Do I climb to the top? Can we get much higher? I, all right, cool. This is just an endless loop. Conquer doesn't question it. He just ends up back at the beginning, and he's like, all right, we got this. Oh, all right, all right. Caleb Cottrell, I'm drunk. Hell yeah, bud. Fuck. <laughs> I think Conquer's is too. Jack Coleman, to quote Ghostbusters, we go up. Hell yeah. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Blackwater Russ sitting here with my doggy dog. Hell yeah. Alright, alright. Ha! No! Yes, here we go. Where now? Bro? Did I just get fucked up by a poo waterfall? That's crazy. Astolfo, serious question. Wasn't there someone who posted a huge link of evidence of MOD being unhinged on YXM's comment section on one of his videos about him? I mean, probably. There is a guy by the name of Skin Ticket who frequently posts about a lot of stuff that, like, M.O.D. has done. Um, and, and God bless Skin Ticket for me, really doing the Lord's work. I do not consider myself a religious man, but if there is a God, he is very much proud of Skin Ticket. I mean, the, the Wyatt X Him Music of Destruction beef is, is almost as well documented as, as my beef with Music of Destruction. Fuck, this fucking shithole is going to be the death of me. Oh my god. Jack Coleman, when you said MOD, I immediately thought you meant Method of Destruction The and Billy Malamo formed when he was kicked out of Stormtroopers of Death. Uh, no, although good guess, because, uh, I mean, Billy Malamo's kind of, he, he's he's got shit to say, too. I think Metalomania talked about, like, doing an interview with him, and there was lots of stuff they had to cut, because he was just constantly saying all kinds of fucked up stuff about Scott Ian and shit. Like, he was just too much, which is fucking crazy. I would have left it all in, because I'm a fucking asshole. I very rarely edit any interview that happens on the Metal Meltdown. Like, very rarely. The only exception is, like, if the fucking, like, the Zoom call or whatever freezes. Because then it's like, well, I have to. You know what I mean? How do I climb up there? I bet this is how. Yeah, this is probably how. I'm going to wait for the fucking shit stream to end. No! Fuck! God damn it. Alright. Shit. Oh boy, boy. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. Cool. Visco Metal X didn't expect a bot here. I mean, I get bots. I don't give a fuck about the bots. I really genuinely don't. Views or views. I don't give a fuck. 
I'm actually shocked it took this long for the bots to show up. Oh my god, this fucking poop hole is gonna be the death of me. Crocodile tuber stream. Good tuber scream. Tuber, tuber scream, scram. All right, the rum is officially hitting me. I'll, yeah, I'll be finishing off this rum and coke, and after that, I think we're, we might be okay. We'll see. Bro. Bro, come on. Bro, come on. Bro, come on. Come on, come on, bro. Come on, bro, come on! Yeah, what about you? Who's, who's even saying that? There must be, like, money hidden somewhere. That's it. Oh my god, oh my fucking god! God! Fuck. Yeah, play with your fucking yo-yo conquer, you little fucking shit. Estelfo, Robert just wants an excuse to drink that rum. I mean, at this point, no. Uh, Caleb Cottrell, death by sphincter. Yeah, very much so. Alright, alright. We're gonna we're gonna do this. All right, it's serious time. Serious. Put on your put on your game faces, folks. There we go. I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk getting fucked up by poop. Oh my goodness! Yeah! We got a squirrel tail! Take a shot, squirrel tail. We did it. We did it, we got the squirrel tail. Mmm. <laughs> PNS, what have you heard a band where it was like a mixture of Soundgarden and Corn? I mean, that just doesn't sound interesting, but I mean, whatever, anything's possible. I'm listening to fucking fart music right now, and I'm digging it, so like, whatever, who knows, you know? Like, who fucking knows? That's not me being facetious, I'm literally li listening to fart music. What's this? Prune juice. Yeah, you! Shot taken. Shot now. Oh, yeah, because I'm a fucking... Because I'm a little squirrel. I got a red tail. The Headbanging Princess, are you open to YouTube collaborations? Absolutely I am. I've, I've done lots of collaborations with uh, Thralls of Metal, Music of... De uh, not Music of Destruction, Jesus. Metal Trenches, uh, The Metal Tempest... Where's the camera? Uh, the Metal Tempest, Melanie Loves Death Metal. I, I love doing collabs. It's fun. It's cool. Why? Are, do you, would you like to do one? Do you have a channel? And is that something you'd like to do? Because I'm down. Oh, I'm always down. If I, if I get to hang out with a princess, that's a first. That's something I've never done here. Jack Coleman, poo and crap are not swear words, Robert. Crap technically is, poo is not. I'm not taking shots to poo. Okay, this is unironic. Oh, well, all right then. Lucky Cat Greggles. Con Conqueror is orange, not red. Well, tell that to the bull. Tell that to the bull. I don't know. Maybe to him I look red. Maybe he's colorblind. We we don't we're not ableist here at the Metal Meltdown. If he's colorblind, that's okay. We love him regardless. Unless he's an asshole. But you know that's a whole different thing. Bruh. 
That's the first time I've played a platforming game where they're like, oh yeah, please don't jump on the platform. Oh god, they really put in like the grossest, squishiest poop sounds ever too. Like it's unreal. Oh! There we go! I got the prune juice! The Headbanging Princess. Yes, I have a very small channel, but I'm interested in journalism school. Feel free to send me a DM or an email then, Headbanging Princess. We'll, uh, we'll work something out. I always like doing collabs and stuff. It always... I like, I like uh, helping channels grow, and I like growing my own. I feel like I owe it because, like, Metal Trenches and, like, other channels like that helped me grow. So I, I, would, I would love to do what I can for you. Plus, it's always fun to meet people and talk to cool people. So, yeah. Hit me up. We'll make it happen. Ah! I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. All right, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, Jake Coleman, I believe that's supposed to be a joke because his species is a red squirrel, correct? Prison metal or crap, maybe a swear word, swear word for Westboro Baptist, but not me. I mean, look, I'm not saying I'm like offended by it, but it is, it is in a in a in a purely technical official sense a swear word. Not a not you know not you know it's not like fuck or cunt or anything like that, but it is it's a swear word. I think you make the bull hit the target. Oh, that makes sense. There we go. And now there's a lady cow. Oh god, he's gonna fuck the cow. He's gonna fuck the cow, ain't he? <laughs> I'll see, but she's got like a like a kind of like a Scottish Newfie accent going on. I like that. That's cute. Okay, and there's the other target. So I gotta, I guess I gotta get the moose to hit the other target, or not the moose, the bull. Jesus, way different animal. Can I do anything with the cow? I don't think I can. All right, good to know. I like how the game screams Ole every- Milk the cow? Can I milk the cow? Can I- Is that something I can actually do? Can I milk the cow? I- I at this point can't tell if you're fucking with me or not. Ah! Alright, alright. Well, let's, let's do something here. Jump, power of the night, jump on the ball. Oh, okay, so I gotta get him pinned to this and then fucking... <laughs> That's fucking great. I'm gonna go for a little meander over there. Yeah, she's got she's got like a weird Scottish accent. It's fucking cute. Looks to be cranberry flavored. I like how rare rare and Nintendo were just like, yeah, poop land. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Poop land, bro. Let's go poop. Alex Flamer, lol, I've heard crap in a children's cartoon. I mean, it's definitely become the most accessible swear as of late. <laughs> God, this is so stupid. 
Screaming shits. All right. Shits is definitely a swear. I think we can agree on that. I agree. I I actually agree with you. Man, it would be weird if my fucking like if my wife fucking showed up right now like this. <laughs> did he just like did that ball just fart? Oh my god. Oh bro, that is wild. Bro, bro, did I just kill that cow? Oh my god, I just killed the cow. I don't, I don't know what I do now. I killed the cow. I didn't even try to. The game just kind of did that. All right, well, let's hit the thing, I guess. God, that's fucking crazy. This game's fucking wild. Fucking hell. Caleb Cottrell, kill it four times? Kill it three times? Somehow I'm aroused? Bro, go s seek help immediately. Is that actually what I have to do? Bro, I can't fucking believe this. I'm like... Wh I don't know what I need to do more now. This is crazy. This makes no sense to me. This makes no sense to me! Why is the solution to kill the cow three times? Why is that the solution? Why is Caleb aroused? What the fuck, Caleb? Seek God immediately. I'm, I'm fucking, alright. Power of the Night says kill it again. That's what we're gonna try to do, I guess. I don't, I don't have a better, I don't know what else to do, so I'm just gonna keep killing the cow, I guess. As absurd as that is. Oh, God. Alright, come on, you big stupid asshole, let's go. Come on, asshole, let's go! Am I doing it? <laughs> Am I doing it? I can't fucking tell! Oh, and then she's got to get the prune juice. Okay, we got to do the whole thing all over again. Got it. Oh, thank God I landed on the chocolate. Holy shit. Lucky cat with strong furry energy. <laughs> okay, so then she's got to poop her guts out.
God, this game is fucking stupid. This game is so fucking stupid. The headbanging princess. Email sent. Looking forward to uh, looking forward to chatting. All right. Well, uh, cool. All right. Well, nice nice to hear from. I I be aware that I'm not looking at that tonight. Headbanging princess. Tonight I'm drinking and then hanging out with my wife after this. But thanks. We'll work something out. We'll make this shit happen. It'll be fun. I don't know. What do you what do you, what do you want to do? Like, oh, let me know. You approach me, so I'm curious what your idea is. Oh, bro, come on. Come on, where are you, you fucking thing? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so wrong. There's so much wrong with this. So now I have to wait for the next female cow, yeah? I've killed it twice, now I gotta kill it three times. I uh, The regular cow, rather. Fucking unbelievable. Hey, Robert, what's your favorite show that's not anime? My answer is Betty Boop. Like, favorite show in general? Or do you mean, like, cartoon? I have to assume you mean cartoon, because you said, like, anime, so animated. I don't know, I got lots of shows I love. Uh, what We Do in the Shadows, I love. Um, uh, what, what else? Um, uh, Breaking Bad and, like, Walking Dead and shit like that. Uh, yeah, lots of stuff. HA! Get fucked! And now let's have, okay, I, I'm getting it now. I figured out, I finally figured out the formula to this. And then I gotta let the cow eat, and then it'll get the thing. There we go. I'm figuring this out. There we go. There we fucking go. Uh, Duang Chai P, you should play GoldenEye 64 for your next drinking game. Uh, GoldenEye 64 is not available on Xbox or Nintendo Switch, although I wish it were. Cause I'd be down, honestly. We can do like a shooting game, maybe. I've me and Anna, me and my wife Anna are talking about doing like a Valentine's Day stream, but not like some lovey-dovey shit. We're talking about maybe doing like a, what we're calling a, a Valentine's Day massacre stream, and we might play like Gears of War. Or some shit like that, you know what I mean? My favorite's the Castlevania Netflix series. Understandable. The net that Castlevania series is fucking fantastic. There we go. I'm fucking dead from that! Bro! Bro! What? Oh, eat dirt. Fuck you! And that's just. And that's shock because the character took a drink in the game. Oh my lord. Ah! Uh. Alright, here we go again, I guess. Whatever, at least I know what to do. At least I know what to do. Blackwater Rust, favorite shows for me, BoJack Horseman. Oh, honestly, BoJack Horseman might, might be number one. I really fucking love that show. It's so fucking funny. And, like, I love everything that show has to say about celebrity and depression and, like you know, kind of coming to accept who you are and, like, facing your demons. Like, I, I think it's... Will Arnett, like, giving in, like, a surprisingly amazing performance. Like, that is a defining role for him. That is for him what, like, Iron Man is for Robert Downey Jr., as far as I'm concerned. Like, it's just an incredible performance. Power of the Night, you should have kept riding the bull. I mean, I tried to, honestly, but it just didn't work out that way. Lucky Cat Greggles, this is a terrible boss battle. Yeah, uh, it's it's not it's not great. I just think it's weird I have to do it three times. That doesn't make sense to me. Why is this something I have to do three times? 
I don't know. Boom! Stop your nonsense, young man. Blah, 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 blah. And then she dies. And then we're good. Got it. And then I gotta do the thing all over again. Got it. Where's the other... Where's the sign? Where's the thing? Where's the poop sign? Where's the hit here so we can poop sign? This is it. Jack Coleman, I miss Metalocalypse. Oh, dude, that show is great. Anna actually bought all the fucking seasons on YouTube. We watch it every now and then. She should be home soon, come to think of it. She should have finished work a couple of minutes ago. I wonder how she'll feel, like, coming in and fucking seeing this, like, with no context whatsoever. I don't know. I mean, if she's, if she's game, then fuck it. I might keep this stream going. I'm having fun. Come on. Yeah! Fuck yeah! Get fucked. Get dicked on. Where's the girl cow? Ah! I did not mean to do that, but it's okay. PNS, what's your favorite joke that you've made on the Metal Meltdown? I don't know. I don't know if I have, like, a favorite joke. I really don't. Um, the, you know what? The fucking thing from, like, the corn fanboy drinking game where, um, like, some guy is complaining about how I have books on my shelf, and that that's become, like, a fucking meme. And seeing fucking people edit with that, that never makes me not laugh. So I'm gonna go with that. That's my choice. Here we go. Yo, I hit the cow. What the fuck? I'm not, can I just stay on the bowl, like, forever? Okay, so I can, pretty much. Jack Coleman, make sure to tell Mrs. Meltdown hi from chat. Well, she'll be here eventually. Like, she should be home within the next 20 minutes or so, honestly. Hey, Meltdown, who killed Captain Alex or The Room? Both. I love both of those movies. I mean, they're both terrible, but they're both, like, really endearing and charming and funny. Especially who killed Captain Alex. Like, The Room had money put into it, whereas Who Killed Captain Alex, who killed Captain Alex was literally made by, like, a bunch of fucking, like, randos in the jungle. And they, like, put their heart and their soul into that movie. And I love it. Anyone who hates Hill Who Killed Captain Alex is actually really fucking mean and just not fun all right uh okay i already answered that one what i remember learning from the corn fanboy drinking game is that you apparently don't live in your apartment and don't own your own guitar according to the fanboys yeah all these things that i pay for i don't actually pay for them <laughs> I don't know, it's just such a weak thing to be like, oh, well, you don't like this? Oh, it's because you, you live in your mom's basement. A, weak criticism. B, no. If that's the worst argument you have, if that's the best argument you have, like the best counterpoint, then you just don't have a good argument or counterpoint. It's just that simple. I don't know. Get better insults slash counterpoints. Blackwater Rust, but I also love the Boondocks, Avatar The Last Airbender, The Wire, Classic Simpsons, King of the Hill. Dude, I fucking love King of the Hill. It's so fucking funny. Uh, and uh, Avatar as well, The Last Airbender. I, I think that's maybe... Actually, that's probably the best animated. That and, like... As far as, like, children's cartoons are concerned, that's, like, one of the best. That and, like, Teen Titans, in my opinion, at least. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Alright, so then we fucking... There we go. So I gotta, I gotta move her closer to, like, the fucking, the prune juice stuff. I get it now. 
Who Killed Captain Alex is unironically the best thing ever. It's much better than any of the new high-budget movies that came out, except Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I'm just a fanboy of Spidey. Yo, same. I, I mean, y'all know me. I'm a Marvel fanboy. I love all that shit. Even at its worst, I love it, because I'm just a fucking... I have no shame in admitting it. I'm a fucking Marvel fanboy. Even when Marvel is bad, I still like it. For me, it's like pizza. Even when pizza's bad, it's good. That's how I feel about Marvel. Like, the only Marvel movies I haven't watched twice are, like, fucking Black Widow and Ant-Man and the Wasp. That's about it. I, I, I don't know. I, I like that shit. Spider-Verse especially, though, was, like, amazing. Like, 10 out of fucking 10. One of the best animated movies ever fucking made. I, I could literally write a fucking, like, essay about how fucking amazing that movie is. The whole thing where, like, the fucking What's Up Danger sequence, where, like, he finally fits into the Spidey uniform, and, like, something that the Stan Lee character says to him earlier in the movie comes back, where it's like, it always fits, eventually. And, and like, the music timed perfectly with him becoming Spider-Man, and the shot of him kind of jumping off the building... But instead of falling, you know, it's an upside down shot, so he's actually rising. Like that's the like he's rising to the occasion. Like there's there's little things like that that are just kind of beautiful. Like, I don't know, that's one of those a rare Sony W, to be blunt. I love that fucking movie. I love that fucking movie. Jack Coleman, I love me some Marvel movies. Yeah, I love it. I don't fucking care. Like it's it's Black Panther Wakanda Forever, unironically one of my favorite movies of last year. Bro, what the fuck? No, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, I gotta start over. Don't die. Oh, fuck off. I gotta do that all over again. Oh my god, I fucking, I hate this whole section. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> I fucking, I gotta do this all over again, bro. Oh my fucking god. Drunk comic book enthusiasm is the best enthusiasm. Damn straight it is. Alright, let's go, you big dumb bull. Fucking unbelievable. Astolfo, Robert, just review Spider-Verse. I'll pay good money to see that. I'll do reviewing every Spider-Man movie. <laughs> Uh, I, I actually, I mean, Marvel fanboyism aside, I think Into the Spider-Verse is actually, like, one of the best movies in, like, a long, long, long fucking time. There's so much about it that just, I'm in love with it. Uh, the animation style, the voice acting, oh, it's just so fucking good. I love that movie. I fucking love that movie. Ah! I really hate that I have to keep fighting this bull. I really fucking hate it, man. This whole sequence should have been done a while ago. It's stupid that it isn't. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta poop. You gotta poop. And then she takes a big old poop. And then we kill her. Got it. <laughs> Astolfo, do it. I'll watch all the Spider-Man movies just to be ready for a video of it. <laughs> Fuck, it. maybe someday. Maybe someday I actually will. It'd be fun. I'll tell you this. If I wasn't doing, like, the Metal Meltdown, I would be probably doing something with comics. Because that's, like, my other big love outside of Metal. Like, I love Marvel. I grew up on Marvel. Ah! Come on. There we go. Get fucked. You fucking loser. Hi, Hi Anna. Hi. I'm what's up? You're silly. What's up? How you doing? Say hello to all the people on the internet. Hi. All of them. The entire internet is here. Hello. Wow, why did you do that? Because the other ones I need to throw out. Why do you need to throw them out? Fair enough. <laughs> How are you? How was your day? Mario 
You didn't tune in to the Metal Meltdown's Conker's Bad Fur Day drinking game? No, I didn't. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I want a divorce. No. Yes, I want a divorce. We're done. What we're we're done you? here. Those are cute. I want them. Give them to me. I command you. I command you. This is not up for debate. No, I command you. Yeah, I bought some gummy candies while I was out because I knew I was going to be drinking and I wanted something to munch on. Yeah, they're just the yeah, they're just farm boy fucking jujubes, whatever. And I also bought some mixed greens and some fruit, and I can't remember what else I bought, but it's all in the it's all in the fridge, whatever. They got a little sour thing. Also, everyone's saying hi. Astolfo, hey, Mrs. Meltdown. Jack Coleman, hello, Mrs. Meltdown. Caleb Cottrell, hi, Anna. Crocodile, hi, Anna. Lucky Cat Greggles, hey, Anna. Blackwater Rust, what up, Anna? Oh, hi. Look at you, you're popular. I've had a lot to drink, Anna. Oh, how much? Uh, I drank some wine, and then I had a rum and coke, and then I had some Rush Golden Ale, and then I made another rum and coke. Which I'm still kind of nursing. I made a one of the rules for this drinking game is that when when the characters in game swear, I take a shot. And then there was a sequence where there were like twenty fucking curse roads, curse words. That's pretty great. Yeah, that sounds like Congress Bradford. Yeah, and now I'm trying to kill a cow. Do it. Kill it. Kill a cow. Which surprisingly is complicated. I've had a few goes at this already. Power of the Night says, Hi, Anna. Everyone's happy to see you, Anna. Oh, nice. Everyone loves you so much. Did you tell everyone that we got, like, fancy silver cups? I did, actually. Earlier in the stream, I was drinking wine out of the the, the silver cup chalice thing, actually. Yes. Oh my gosh, these are so fuzzy. There we go. I can finally kill the cow! <laughs> How many more cows do I have to kill? Apparently a couple more. All right. Caleb Cottrell, also my pet, my pet cat, says hi to Anna. Oh, hi. Hey. Hello to Caleb's pet cat. I hope you're having a pleasant evening. Ah! There we go. Curse roads is now the canon usage. Understood. I don't know what that's in reference to. Because you said curse road. You said crossroads instead of curse words. Oh, okay. Cur oh, I did? Yeah. All right, got it. Okay. Thank you, Jack. Feel free to remind the Metal Meltdown audience in the next upload about that, because I will forget. Where's the, where's the cow? Where's the cow? I'm a bull, but I have to find the cow oh. so I can kick it. Take it. So I can beat its ass. Oh. Fuck! Hey, Anna, what's your favorite show that's not anime? For some reason, not anime is the defining factor of this. My favorite show. So basically, your favorite show, am I right? <laughs> That counts as anime. What's your favorite show that's not Castlevania? Um, what do I even fucking watch anymore? I, I, so the ones I said were like Avatar, Bojack, and What We Do in the Shadows. Oh my god, absolutely What We Do in the Shadows. That one's my favorite. Nadja got style. I know. I know. So popped off with her outfits. You're fucking good. Right? The jujubes. Lucky Cat Greggles. Hey, why do the controls have to suck in this game? Because <laughs> it's a Nintendo 64 game. That's why. I was watching someone speedrun uh, Super Mario 64. Honestly, that game is so fucking amazing. It's one of the best platformers ever made. Honestly, I kind of want to play that now. Yeah, fucking do it. I mean, I can't. We're hooked up to Xbox. Oh, yeah. I can't. Oh yeah, it, I forgot what you were doing. Cause it was like, oh, you're playing a '64 game, so that makes sense. Like, yeah, well, brain. because because Rare was bought by Microsoft, yeah. if you remember correctly. Yeah. So this is on my Xbox. This is part of the Rare Replay compilation. Yeah. So I could switch to Banjo Kazooie, but I think I'd rather do a full stream for that, cause that game is just so good. You, we can do Conquer's Bad Fur Day multiplayer if you like, if you're interested. Maybe, yeah. Or you and I can just switch to something else after this and just hang out for shits and giggles. Maybe. Alright, I'm taking the bag of the 
Defcon 66 playing video games? No wonder you like the Black Album LOL Weak Sauce. Yeah, God forbid somebody fucking enjoy something in their free time. Why don't you go eat some fucking dirt, Defcon? Like, actually, all you do is fucking show up and complain. Fucking eat dirt. Oh, poser shit. Poser shit. You think you're so fucking cool and smart? Let's see you do this fucking shit. Eat my fucking ass. Unironically. That's right. Yeah, that is right. Mm. All, all, this, all this motherfucker does is tune in and fucking complain. God, imagine having a fucking life that fucking sad. That people having fun, you have to complain about that. Jack Coleman, the main a the main enemy in Mario 64 is the camera. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, the Mario 64 camera is not that bad. I would say it's a bigger issue with something like Ocarina of Time. Crocodile, uh, Defcon is a mod alt. That wouldn't shock me in a weird way. Finally! Hell yes! It was shitting all over the place. It was pooping everywhere. It was pooping and... He almost said... He almost said bastard. Is that half a shot? We've been counting bastard as a swear word, which is one of the drinking rules. A stall for the writer of Black, the Black Album, better than everything Six Feet Under related. I mean, true, but that's kind of a low bar. You know what I mean? Raymond Tamayo, I'm late. What the fuck is going on? Uh, well, we're playing Conker's Bad Fur Day. I'm drinking. Anna's eating candy. And we just told someone to fuck off. Blackwater Russ, Black Album is fun. Defcon hates fun. I mean, he pretty consistently shows that he hates fun. He, he, I, I'm betting he shows up to parties with the intention of pooing on them. Yeah. Squirrel tail! All right, that's another shot. Let's do this. And someone agrees that that's a square, so fuck it. Here we go. The squirrel tail? The squirrel tail is a fucking sh a drinking game rule. Okay. So, with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen... The rules for this drinking game are take a shot every time Conker dies, take a shot every time Conker finds a squirrel tail, take a shot every time a character in-game drinks, take a shot every time a character in-game swears. The swear one fucked me up. <laughs> that actually fucked me up. More so than any of the others. I think, I think we'll fight the Great Mighty Pooh and then we'll see. Maybe we'll move on to a different game after this. Or maybe we'll just keep playing Conkers because it's really silly. I can't believe they put Conker in uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Well, that was back when Conker was supposed to be like a... He was like a kid character. Yeah. But, like, Conker... I mean... Because Conker isn't really like... Was he? Wait. <laughs> I mean, originally, yes. He was supposed to be... Conker was originally supposed to be like a really kid-friendly character. Well, yeah, he does have that look. Because for Diddy Kong Racing, they just made up a bunch of characters. Because, like... If it's, there's not enough characters in the Diddy Kong world to fill up a game with. Yeah. There just isn't. So they just made up characters. So if Conker, they were like, they were already making a Conker game, so they already had the assets. So they were like, oh, fuck it. Uh, duh, duh, let's do this. And then Conker's Bad Fur Day began production as a relatively straightforward, kid-friendly platformer in the vein of Banjo-Kazooie. And then at a certain point, production changed hands, so they decided, fuck it. We're gonna go super edgy. And Nintendo didn't question it because Rare was consistently producing big hits for them, like Banjo-Kazooie. That's true. Like, this is a weird lapse in judgment for them. Jack Coleman and Permadeath is, Permadef is four shots. Yes, I stand by that. Jack Coleman, Diddy Kong Racing is where it's at. Uh, Astolfo, okay then, the Black Album better than Slipknot self-titled. Ooh, that's a good one. Slipknot self-titled honestly hits harder than it has the right to. But I would agree that Black Album is probably a better record. Uh, sure, I guess I got that. Are we learning swimming controls? Am I swimming in poop now? I'm swimming in poop now. This is pretty similar to Banjo-Kazooie swimming controls. Ew. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, ain't nobody gonna argue this is, like, clean and good. 
That's what I mean. Like, I'm honestly amazed that Nintendo okayed this game because there's so much about this that's like, this just seems so off-brand for Nintendo. Like, Conquer, this was one of the last games released on the Nintendo 64, for fuck's sakes. Would you really eat chocolate that's been, like, around poop? I mean, apparently you fucking Conquer would. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, he dived head... Dived into the shit! Lucky Cat Greggles, that's not poop, that's er chocolate. I mean, I certainly hope that's the case, but I don't think it is. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Let's just dive deep, I guess. I don't know. There's the bowl. <laughs> oh, he's just there. There's some money over here. Um, the money talks. I, I ate them all. You ate, oh, them. you ate the rest of the gumbies. They're so good. Wow, you devoured them. You just got home. They're good. Holy shit. They're good. And they're That's kind of impressive, and... honestly. You know how I feel about gummies. Yeah, more spondooly. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Does anyone call money spondooly? Huh? Has anyone ever called money spondooly? No, I've never even heard that term. I think I'm going to do it from now on, though. I kind of like it. Yeah, I kind of like it, too. It makes it sound like it's a pasta. Uh, yeah, I I like how instead of a health bar, it shows Conker's face going like, I can't hold my breath anymore, yeah, man. Exactly. I don't know if I like that, though. I'd rather have, like, the Mario 64 life bar. <laughs> There's also farts in the score. This game is fucking wild. <laughs> it has a big ball of poo. Oh, thank God, I got the big poo. Oh, I was the really sound effects. <laughs> yeah, they put poo in the score, and also the sound effects are like really squishy. <laughs> this is what like how did how did Nintendo okay this? I guess because like. Okay, I guess because, like, they were like, oh, Rare, we'll let Rare do whatever they want. And this was one of the... And Rare was like, okay, bet. And this, they just fucking did it. This was one of the last titles available for the Nintendo 64, too. So this is them being like, all right, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, this is one of the last major titles that came out on the Nintendo 64. It came out in 2001. By that point, the GameCube was already a year old. All right, I gotta roll this poop. I gotta roll the poop. It's literally a poop mountain. Sure. <laughs> I don't... Sure, I don't know what the fuck I just did. I, I really don't fucking know. Oh, you have to restart because it fell. This gives oh, me a new poop ball. Yeah. I'm gonna go poop mountain. So how do I wake this fucker up? But I'll admit, uh, Prison Meddler, I'll admit Dream Theater isn't good without Mike Portnoy. I'm not even a huge fan of Mike Portnoy, but their best stuff is without question the Mike Portnoy stuff. Like, it's not even up for debate. This is coming from someone who doesn't even fucking like Dream Theater. Like, at all. I just find them to be a really artsy-fartsy, pretentious prog band. Like a bunch of introspective dribble dabble, like, oh, I look into the mirror. And then fucking John Petrucci, like, wanks off his guitar for like eight minutes. How are you, Anna? Hey, good. That's good. I'm gonna see what's in here. Yeah. I'm gonna worry about the poop ball later. Feck off! I'm gonna count that as a, as a little swear. Mm. Yeah, fuck it. Who's gonna stop me? A giant thing of poo? Is it safe, I wonder? Mm. Let's find out. PNS, what's your opinion on the Call of Duty games? Uh, I liked them when I was 12. <laughs> a World at War will always be goaded. That's unironically the best one. The one that no one likes is the best one. I 
like, period. World of War is so goaded, though. It's so fucking good. But, like, no one gives a shit about it the same way about, like, World Modern Warfare or Black Ops. Even though it's the best one. Even it though it's really the best is. fucking one. It fucking is. It's so good that I bought it on Steam and, like, I would go on, like, servers where it was crouch only. So there wasn't, like, any special abilities. You'd just, like, fucking crouch and shoot people. It was so fucking fun. I feel that. Lucky Cat Greggles, if the money swears, do we count that? Yes, we count all swears. Did the money swear? I didn't hear anything. Personally. Did the money swear? You know what? I'll take a shot for safety. For safety. For safety. Just for safety. For safety. Crocodile, World at War has great single player and zombies, but don't care, don't care about Call of Duty multiplayer. I like the multiplayer a lot. <laughs> I mean, for me, I the zombies is so. I don't good. like first-person shooter multiplayer games because I'm just bad at first-person shooters anyway. Like I hate playing Halo online because I'm just bad at it. I'm I fucking bad at I've it. I've been playing it for twenty fucking years. So have I, but I'm fucking bad at it. And I played Halo when it fucking came out, Anna. I'm still I fucking know. bad at it. I know. The mon the money called conquer a bastard. All right, good to know. <laughs> We've been counting that so far. There's no reason not to count it now. Wait. No, you didn't get to the other side. I don't think I can then. Feral Reserve. I guess I can't go in there. Maybe if I like. Ha! Huh. Nope. There's no, there should be something. No, I don't think there is. I, I think this is the game's way of telling me that I can't be here. If I, I, I've said this before, but if I have one legitimate complaint for this game, the level design is not great. Like, it's, it's weird to think this is the same company that made Banjo-Kazooie, arguably the perfect platformer, because the controls are fucking whack in here, and sometimes the game design is too. James Bosima, did I miss the poo monster? No, I don't think you have. We're actually trying to, uh... We're probably going to fight the poo monster, and then I don't know what's going to happen after that, because I've already been streaming for three and a half hours, and I would like to spend the evening with my wife. I don't think she would object to uh, partying more on the stream, but I imagine she also likes eating dinner and just spending time with me. I honestly just want, like, a normal dinner. <laughs> That's fine. Understood. So we'll fight the poo monster, and that might be it. The great mighty poo. Try going over him for now, and can you jump over? Yeah, like, see what's at this hop. I don't know. That's a good idea. Well, let's see if there's something you gotta do up top. Jack Coleman, not yet. The Great Mighty Pooh has yet to make his entrance. He should be showing up soon, if I remember correctly, though. Like, he doesn't... Like, he's not, like, really late in the game. Uh, okay. So I've gotta move the boulder all the way up here. There's money over here. Okay, I guess... <laughs> So silly. Yeah, I think Rare was like, I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck I want. I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna do what I want, and you're just gonna have to deal with it. Alright, well, let's let's roll that fucking poop, I guess. Uh, howdy, y'all. Best of luck to your liver. My liver's already fucked. I've accepted that a while ago. Uh, it goes from the poop music to, like, goofy-ass Woody Woodchuck-ass music. Like, poop, poop, poopy, crappy, crappy, poopy, poopy balls. Poopy, crappy, poopy balls and poopy, crappy balls. I was literally looking at, like, some of the level designs for Mario 64, and I'm like, damn, these were... I, I, like, I have so many fucking good memories. I of, honestly like, think it's a perfect platformer. It, it really fucking is, because, like, the game literally is like, yo, you gotta get the princess, and it tells you nothing. And you have to figure out, like, all the special rooms. Like, you know, the clock level? Like, how do you know to go into the clock, but you have to wait until it hits the We know it because hour. the game yeah. is, like, fucking 25 yeah. years old. but, like, as a kid, you're like, yo, holy shit. Yeah. And then you get into Dire Dire Docks, and you get into I love the way that one. Mario tilts into his turns. Like, it's yeah. not a sharp... Like, they really thought about how a like, character would actually run. Yeah. Honestly, the, the camera's solid. I don't have an issue with the camera in Mario 64. I have a bigger issue with the camera in, like, Sunshine and Galaxy, which came out after. I feel like Mario is way too fucking slippery in Sunshine. It kind of drives me insane. All right, so how do I fucking... 
Can I talk to him? What do you want? Okay, well. Another one's gonna spawn. Oh, it does the same fucking cutscene. Poopy Krabby Balls love their last record. Astolfo, hey Robert, any plans for a Metal Gear Rising live drinking game? Yes! Let's do it! Oh my god, yes! Alright, Valentine's Day Massacre stream, Metal Gear Rising. Let's fucking go! And are you down? Yeah! Let's do it. Metal Gear Rising is silly. Dude, Metal Gear Rising is so fucking stupid and I love it. I, I love Metal Gear. Metal Gear is my weakness. I will die for Metal Gear. I don't care what anyone says. I kind of want to play Snake Eater, too. You ready? Anna has never played any of the classic Metal Gears, guys. I just, like, didn't. I don't know how to explain it. I just didn't. I don't know. That's just crazy, though! I'm going to roll up the poop ball, and then I'm going to take it to the bug man. And maybe then he'll be like, ugh, ew, poopy balls. This well, is no, gross. No, he'll be like, yummy. Because he's a, he's a fucking You know, beetle. maybe that, too, come to think of it. Maybe that, too. Oh, did I just, did I just find, like, an alternate route? I think so. I think this will make it bigger. Oh, I think I just found an alternate route. This is crazy. PNS, hey Robert, any plans for a Dark Souls remastered live stream? I'd be down for that too. Fuck, I'm dead! All right. My jet, my rum and coke is done, as I promised. The drinking game is done, but we're gonna keep playing because I want to see the great mighty Pooh. You have to be careful of the dung beetles, because they're they're gonna hurt you. You're gonna sh shut up. You're Take silly. that. Okay. <laughs> J James, start at four. Don't worry, it won't be confusing at all. See, that's the worst thing about Metal Gear is that there's not really a great entry point. I mean, officially, the timeline starts with Metal Gear Solid Three: Snake Eater. But the game also assumes that there's a lot of stuff about Metal Gear that you would know already. Like, it doesn't really work as a prequel in that regard. Same thing with Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace assumes that you've already seen the other Star Wars movies. Same thing with the fucking, the entire prequel trilogy for that matter. It assumes you've already seen the OGs. I don't know, man. My favorite, my, I mean, my favorites are three and five. I like the idea of doing Rising for a Metal Gear so for a fucking Valentine's Day stream. I like that a lot. Although, honestly, I'd be down doing Snake Eater, too, because I just love Snake Eater. And Anna hasn't played any of these fucking games, so it doesn't actually matter which one I pick. Lucky Cat Greggles, the only Metal Gear game I played was Smash Bros. That's probably, that's probably the case for a lot of people, to be fair. I remember when they unveiled Solid Snake for fucking Brawl. And it was like, bro, what the fuck? Like, th that was the reaction. Everyone was like, what the fuck is happening? I got fuzzy slippers. You got fuzzy slippers? That's Wait, right. So God damn. They're actually out for fucking blood. They are. All while this poopy sound. Yes. All while the poopy sound goes on. Uh, oh, you're not. Oh. Uh, and he's like, huh? <laughs> oh shit! Oh god! Oh. He, he, he ate the poop! Now you gotta roll it all the way up again. That's fine. At least I can get past the big boy. <laughs> Face <laughs> first and shit. They spent all the fucking money on these poop sounds and the fart sounds. They were like, "All right, we need to. We need like, all right, a thousand bucks for visuals." A thousand bucks for gameplay, and then everything else goes to poop. <laughs> everything else goes to poop. Poopy poopy. <laughs> Rob's kawaii voice is on point. Thank you. I did my best. Now you can use the other route, yeah. Now I can take the poop route. The poop route. Poop route. We always poop together. <laughs> poop. James Busima, don't eat the poo poo, folks. Fuck you. I'll do what I want. It reminds me of that fucking thing in uh, Bugs Life. Yeah, who ordered the poo-poo platter? <laughs> <laughs> Always cracks me up. That's fucking so silly. 
That movie in general, kind of weird though. It is really it kinda weird. Kind of weird. It's one of Pixar's like, and this is saying a lot, but that really is one of Pixar's weirder films. I think Ants is awesome though. Dude, that movie's even fucking weirder. That movie's literally about like communism and like the workers uprising. And fucking like Woody <laughs> Allen, Sylvester Stallone. Like what the fuck is that with that cast? Now you gotta roll on again because this stupid, stupid. Oh dumb fucking fuck. poop balls! Fucking shit! Goddamn. Poop balls and crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The poop fucking serenade. Yeah, poop. The poop OST. <laughs> the poop OST. The pooping, pooping farting. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. If you're hungry, you can start dinner. You don't have to wait for me. Oh, that's okay. I'm all right. You're waiting for me to cook while I'm drunk? Yes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> That's so stupid. What is so stupid? Fucking poop fart audio. It's the best. What are you talking about? Blackwater Rust. Ants is wild. It really is. Damn it! <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait. Can I still... Okay, I still have my poop ball. Caleb. Caleb Cottrell. What's in the poo poo platter? Well, poo poo for one. <laughs> I like to assume it's like a charcuterie board and there's multiple types of poo-poo. <laughs> like if you order a charcuterie board in a restaurant, you're getting like prosciutto and salami and mortadella and like pickles and crackers, maybe even some cheese. So if the poo-poo platter, you're getting a bunch of different poo-poos. <laughs> you're getting like a, a big poo-poo? You're getting like a diarrhea poo-poo? <laughs> this is making Anna really laugh. Not. This is the one poo-poo joke that makes Anna laugh. Very silly. The prison meddler. A bug's life is way better than ants. No. A b ants is more ambitious, but ants... Ants is more ambitious, but a bug's life is funnier. I'll say that. You know what I mean? Ants is so fucking wild. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to praise ants because Woody Allen is attached to yeah, it, though. that's true. That's true. <laughs> it's also weird that, like, DreamWorks was like, this is our first big project. Let's literally do a bug's life, but hyper-political. <laughs> and also, with Woody fucking Allen. Hey, over here. I did it. I got the poo-poo in the poo-poo hole. <laughs> the poo-poo hole. The poo-poo hole. Where does it go? We did it. We broke through to Poo Poo Mountain. Hey. Hi. Bro, I need another Poo Poo Ball? No, I think no, I just, I we're think done. Cut scene. I think you can just go through the hole. We're just, yeah, we're just gonna go. We're gonna go. We're just gonna, we're gonna keep on pooping. It's all good. Mad Mike, is this how Chris Barnes makes a new album? I assume so. <laughs> Yo. Mountain. Ow. <laughs> yeah, you're at all Conquer the broke his stuff. fucking leg. <laughs> there was money in the in the honey hole. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look, there's money I in know. the honey hole. <laughs> oh god. This is fun. This is why I do the live streams, ladies and gentlemen. I could care less about like the the fucking this is why I'm like, if you came here for fucking quality material, get out. If you came here to laugh and giggle, you're in the right place. See, now you can just go into the poop hole. Now I can go into the poop hole. That's what... Oh god, is this the big mighty poop entrance? I'm gonna get into your poop hole. By which I mean I'm gonna do this level again. Okay. <laughs> Money in a honey hole, that's right. We went to Taco Bell. <laughs> we took a big old poop. Why are they British? Are uh, they just... Uh, it's more of like a... Oh, yeah, they're a little... They're a little, they're a little English. Yeah, All right. Like having a cup of tea. Just having a cup of tea. Right, more like an Irish-Scottish kind of thing. Like, what? Is, oh, as soon as I sold that, I buzz. What are you doing like that, mate? I love how this audio... And we went over. The... I don't know, was it? 
this one thing came out of the oh, shite. Okay. They're more like Scottish. And I thought to myself, oh, I'm getting out of here. So I thought to me head first. And when I came out, I thought it was all clear. The lads are gone. The boss is in me in. You can do what you like. There's some money all there. You can get your ass to get shit. Yeah. That's right. Jack Coleman, she got real defensive about the B.O. real quick. I mean, I did just kind of whip that out, to be fair. You died. You I'm fell dead now. Poop. Blackwater Russ, Woody Allen. Ew. Correct. I died. Would Can you, you skip the cutscene? Yes, but I'm also going to shot it up. I'm just going to drink from the bottle at this point. Fuck it. By the way, this confirms that you're in charge of dinner. Okay. It's, it's trout. I'm pretty sure even you can cook up trout. Yeah. <laughs> In that case, I'm gonna start. Go for it. Use the electric frying pan, the big one, to cook all the trout in. Slice it up into like four por four portions. Look, there's corn. There's corn. Would you like to sit here for a bit and join me for the great mighty poo? Okay. <laughs> oh, one of the greatest moments in video game history. You fell in the pool. Okay, hole. well. Did I get a game over too? That's crazy. Hell yeah, play! This game's from 2001 and it has an autosave system. That's wild. That is. Alright, I'll take shots at the end. Let's let's get through the Great Mighty Pooh section. And I gotta give I gotta give the poo corn. Um num 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 num. Jack Coleman, that's four shots. Don't worry, Jack Coleman. I have not forgotten. I have simply decided that I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a minute. That's all. Alright, I feel like I need a shot after watching that. <laughs> Would you like a shot of Jack? Would you like... No, I don't have anything in my stomach. You want me cracking? You no. had some candy. That's no, a lie. So That's a lie! Perfect. That's a lie! <laughs> Blackwater Russ, we can take the shots for you. Lucky Cat Greggles little heart eyes emoji. <laughs> I know. That's right. That's right. I'm going to do... There's a, there was someone <laughs> in here earlier called the, the, the Headbanging Princess. I'm going to do a collab with them. Oh, yeah. I saw the email. How did you? <laughs> how did you see the email? I'm still connected to your Gmail email because. Uh, oh, because of the TikTok yeah. account that you were gonna take over, yeah. but you definitely did not do that. Then you were like, "I like this," and then you. Did I that. mean, you can still do that. You're still logged in. You can just post shit. I don't think I'm logged in anymore. Okay. Would you like to? Sure, maybe. Go for it. What Anna keeps forgetting is that the Metal Meltdown is just as much hers as it is mine, and she can just, like, post stuff on the Metal Meltdown Watch if she out, wants to. Watch out, poopy on your head. Anna, would you like to do an album review sometime? Maybe, You yeah. should do it sometime. I will. I'll teach you how I do it. Okay. And then you'll be like, this is the thing. You would you, would you, would, what would you like to review? Uh, I don't know, I'll figure out something. Would you like to review something new or something old? Something new. Something new? If you feel if you if there's something new that catches your eye that you specifically want to review, all you got to do is tell me. I will. Everyone like, comment, up, subscribe and then also harass Anna if you want her to review something on this channel, new or old. Silly little cords. But also don't be an asshole. Caleb Cottrell, yeah, she ate all your candy. You tell that fool to take a shot. You, she ate all your gummies. That's true, Anna. They were so good, by the way. They were so. They were. Fruity. Why are farm boy? Why is farm boy shit so oh, absurdly so good? So good. God, I should have bought some sandwiches while I was there. Oh well, too late now. Plus, we got shit to use up here. I did buy. I bought green strawberries, bananas, bread, the gummies, the bread. If the bread, I got the bread. I got. Eh, I got the bread on sale. Because it, it was a, like it wasn't like fresh out of the bakery, so if we don't use it up within the next couple of days, I think I'll like cut it up and like make croutons or something out of it. Okay. 
if that's all right. Yeah. Anna, review Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I can't use this, apparently. Don't fall into the poop. I'm not, I don't plan to. It was not, it was not something I planned on to. Man, this camera is, f bro, stop it! Stop it with this camera! Unfucking believable. The little fart sounds on the poop balls. The little fart sounds on the poop balls. <laughs> poop balls, poop balls crap, shit fuck. <laughs> That's right. Ah! You can get that little piece of corn now. I can get the corn. That's what I normally do when I poop. I dig out all the corn. <laughs> yes. There was so This I'm, is the most amount of fart and I poop watched, jokes I've made on this channel. I remember watching a very old YouTube video of someone who ate nothing but corn for two days to see Bro, what you would just happen. you would just shit out a full they, cup of corn. Like it was so fucking weird. Of course it's so fucking weird. You would just shit out a whole cup of fucking corn. <laughs> what the fuck kind of fucking video is that? I don't remember. It was a while ago. That's fucking wild. <laughs> Caleb Cottrell, what do you think of Cyberpunk Edge Runners? I don't know. I never saw it. I don't know. I, I I'm not even being I'm not even being like fucking silly. I legit never saw it. I assume it's all right. How many pieces of fucking corn do you need? He he just needs more corn. He needs more corn. The Great Mighty Poo demands a sacrifice of of sweet Ontario corn. Yes. I like how you can just whip out a fucking frying pan. Yeah, why not? That's great. 10 out of 10. Unironically, 10 out of 10. So I should... I can't use the contact-sensitive shit here for some reason. In theory, I should be able to. Do I just keep feeding him corn? Jack Coleman. Anna is super interested in topics dealing with the dookie. <sighs> I it's do have It's her favorite. IBS, it's so. <laughs> Hell Yeah. Lucky Cat Greggles, woo, I'm from Ontario. Yo, so are we! We're from Toronto. Where are you at, Lucky Cat? Where are you at? Ajax, Mississauga, or are you also from Ontario? You mean Toronto. Tor Toronto. You're a little We're gooped. from Toronto. You're a little gooped. I am you? a little gooped. Oh, I think I did it. I sacrificed enough corn. Lucky Cat Greggles, I'm also in Toronto. Hell yes, Lucky Cat Greggles. What the fuck is up, fellow Torontonian boy? Oh my goodness, it's the Pooh Man! That's right! The corn is his teeth. That's really weird. He sings a song. I know. Me, 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 me. I am the great mighty Pooh. And I'm going to throw my shit at you. A huge supply of tish from my chocolate starfish. How about some scat, you little twat? Iconic. Unironically, one of the best villains in any game ever. Because it's just, like, so absurdly silly. It is. Video games need to be more comfortable being fucking silly. Yeah, I know, I agree. Like, Double Fine is pretty comfortable with, like, Psychonauts and Brutal Legend, but, like, a Nintendo game is not comfortable being silly, and I think that that, in and of itself, is really silly. I gotta throw something in his tum-tum. Yeah. Yo, I bet that's where the context-sensitive zone is for. I gotta go back. That's what that's for. Maybe. That's what that is fucking goddamn for. Questy, I'm the Great Mighty Pooh! Hell yeah, you are, Questy. Quest for Metal. How you doing, bud? What is up? What the fuck is goddamn up? It's toilet paper. Ah! <laughs> Apparition, Melty's singing here. Brilliant! Hell yeah. We should do a karaoke stream some. Hey, think you'll survive in here. 
You don't seem to know what creek you're on. Sweet corn is the only thing that makes it through my beer. How do you think I keep this lovely grin? Have some more caviar. Have some more caviar. Uh -huh. The next Metal Meltdown live stream is going to be uh, me, Mr. Metal Meltdown, singing the entire Les Miserables musical. Uh, yes. Yes, unironically, yes. It's like yes. four hours. It's like four hours. The movie is like three hours. I'll do the movie version because it's shorter. Plus, I get an original song there, so that kind of works out. I can get my Oscar. <laughs> yeah. You still have to see that, come to think of it. That's right. You I'm going to make you poopy, do it. You found the poop. Okay, I'm going to start dinner. Chris Barnes version now. Hell yeah, you got it. Why would you want to start the food? Why? I'm hungry. Why? Why? Questy, you should play Armed and Dangerous sometime. You'll love it just as ridiculous and funny as this. All right, sure. Anna, Anna, sit down. It's okay. Why? Anna, sit down and join us for the stream. Okay. The food can wait. It ain't going nowhere. It's a Friday night. It's a Friday night. It ain't going nowhere. It's all good. The Rock Beast. Do you rat or Dawkins or Skid Row? I assume you mean like. Uh. I'm not really big on any of those bands, to be honest, but if I have to pick, I'll go Skid Row. Because, like, You've Gone Wild and, like, 18 in Life are bops. Let's go. Big ol' poop, man. That's right, big old poop man. Best musical I've seen in a long time, without question. This is how you know I'm a fucking nerd, because I only want to go to New York to go to, like, the Nintendo shop and also see a Broadway musical. Yes. That's, like, it. No! Damn it! Okay. Yeah, I'm good. You're okay. Yeah, I'm good. What's up? How you You're doing? Silly. How you doing? You're very silly. You're silly. Our neighbors are gonna Skid be Row like, slave to the grind. They can fucking come down here and eat my fucking asshole. I don't fucking care. <laughs> they can come down here and eat my pubic hair. I don't give a shit. <laughs> they can come down here and fuck off and die. Whatever. But also they're cool. Shout out to Cat and Devin and Ham, the crazy fucking pug monster. She's a bulldog. She a bulldog. My apologies. She's crazy though. That that part is clear. Mr. Shoulders, Lamau Chill. No, I'm not gonna. Crocodile rip headphone users a little bit. Oh. We should do more karaoke parties. That was fun the other night. Damn it! There we go. Lucky Cat Greggles. This is top tier opera music. Hell yeah, it is. Lucky Cat, uh, where are you in Toronto? You don't have to give your exact address because obviously that's silly. But like, are you in like the Riverside, Riverside, uh, the Village? Like, I'm curious. We're we're in like Deer Park. I won't go more specific than that because like motherfuckers will send me shit. I'm just curious for shits and giggles. Ha! Huh? The fuck? Okay. Ha! What the fuck? All right, well, fuck. It's okay, we got this. Mad Mike, also can't wait to see Creator in June. Yeah, I bought tickets. I actually bought them yesterday because I got fucking, I got pre-sale codes because I'm a fucking badass motherfucker. But I'm super pumped. I also bought tickets to fucking Mastodon and Gojira. 
I'm so fucking pumped. Oh, excuse me. Oh, all right, we're good. Questy, Uncle Melty's Screamo cover of Mod Rants When. You know what? That's a great idea for an April Fool's video, unironically. Oh, I'm getting all burpy now. Yes. Yes. Ugh, how are you, Anna? I'm good. What do you want for dinner? Just that one. The trout? Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. I actually forgot for a second. Yeah! Get fucked, loser! Get fucked, loser! Get absolutely fucking dicked on! Look at you, stupid big 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 old pile of, big old pile of poopy balls! You're rather mad. You're like a niggly, tickly, shitty little tag knot. When I've knocked you out with all my bab, I'm going to take your head and ram it up my butt. Your butt? My butt? Mwah, brilliant. 10 out of 10. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Unironically brilliant. Oh, okay, so now I have to get the other fucking thing. I don't know how to get there. I can't jump that far, bro. Should I just, should I just jump it? Yeah, you can get to that platform. Ah! See, that's what I mean! Okay, you're screaming in my ear. See, that's, that's what I mean. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scream in your ear. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I did. I apologize. I apologize. Lucky Cat Greggles, where are you? I'm real close to High Park. We're in Deer Park. Midtown kind of area. Shout out to High Park. High Park is cool. Where else? See, this is what Elden Ring was missing. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jack Coleman, that's another four shots. Yes, I'm aware. Don't worry. We'll take we'll take one big asshole shot together at the very end of this. I promise you. I, I fucking promise you. Lucky Cat Greggles, and for me, it's a drinking and smoking game. Hell yes. Oh, how are you, Anna? Hi, good. Are you good? Yeah. Oh. There we go. We did it. We did half of it, at least. Wow. Joshua Kurtz, Chris Barnes couldn't compare to those screams. Absolutely incredible. That was a pretty good scream. I'll. I. That was a good scream. I'm proud of myself. It doesn't take much to be better than Chris Barnes, mind you. Huh? We're gonna make this happen. If I do, like, the long jump and then the fucking thing, I should be alright. Damn it! Come on. Come on, motherfucker! I'm going to absolutely annihilate you, you literal piece of fucking human shit. He is a piece of shit. He is. He is. I am going to... I am, I am going to just absolutely fuck his shit up. Yeah. I'm going to stick my dick in his fucking face. Okay. Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Is 
See, this is why I could never play like Dark Souls or Elden Ring, because I'd get too fucked up too quickly and we'd get nowhere. Robert's already bad at video games. He doesn't need alcohol's help. <laughs> You're silly. Tell me I'm wrong, though. I got no shame in admitting it. I suck at video games. There we go. Fuck off. Fuck off. Eat shit. Eat my fucking shit. Eat literally eat my fucking shit. Literally actually eat my fucking shit. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm a fucking piece of shit. You're very silly. You're very silly. You're very silly. Did you know that? You're very silly. I gotta do this all oh god damn it. Really all over again? Again again? Yes. This is getting slightly tedious. How did kids do this shit back in the day? Am I just stupid, or were they smarter back in the day? I honestly don't know, cause like, I, like, I don't know. This is making me think of the Michael Jackson doo doo faces feces meme. Uh, yo, Cellar Dog, long time no see. Cellar Dog is Waste Monster. I can't. Actual name Poop Monster. He's the Great Mighty Poo. That's who he is. Oh. You know what? I'm fucking done, folks. I'm I'm too drunk to do this. How many times have we restarted this? A lot. Should we finish the Great Mighty Poo? I want to eat dinner. Anna's hungry. <laughs> I want to eat dinner. All right, here's what we're going to do. One more fucking go, and then that's it. If we can't fucking do it, then that's that's it. Too bad. I don't fucking care. Like, Anna's fucking hungry. I've been doing this for four hours. Like, at a certain point, it's like... Life has to go on, goddammit. Yeah. That's, that's right. Ha! <laughs> Eat my toilet paper. Yes. Blackwater Russ, have dinner. It's been a great time. We're 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 really going to try and do we're going to try and beat the great mighty poo. We're going to really try and make this happen. But for, I can't jump that chasm. I've tried. I just can't. Am I missing something? Like, I don't know. I mean, people came... Like, I mean, this is one of the main reasons people play this fucking game. So I want to beat the Great Mighty Pooh. Prison Meddler, see you later then. We're not done just yet, but if you're out, then that's all good. See you later, bud. It's all good. Ah! Jack Coleman, this is how old games work. You die, you go back. I mean, that's true. I don't know. Maybe it's because I suck at video games, but I like the way old vi new video games work, where I'm just like, you know, they show mercy. Bro, what the fuck? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go!
I got the booze in me. I refuse. And I mean, you you may start dinner if you like, but I'm I'm beating this poop. I'm waiting then. I'm beating this poop. I am fighting this poop. And then at the end of this, we will take one big old fucking pile of shots together. We've made it this far. I owe this to you. Joshua Kurtz, good to... Bro. Bro! That's 12. Jack Coleman. I've made it clear we're just gonna do the fucking thing. Oh my fucking god. This is getting worse. Unfucking real. God, why do I have to suck at these games? Why do I have to suck at games? I'm making this happen. I'm making this. And then we're gonna take one big final shot all together, ladies and gentlemen. We got this. <laughs> 16 shot black what once again folks I'm done keeping trot of shacks we're just we're just gonna I'm just gonna down the rest of this fucking kraken bottle like that's it I'm done with shots I'm just gonna down the kraken bottle once all of this is said and done and then we'll shoot the shit for a bit and that's it all right so don't bother keeping track you're wasting your fucking time I've already had an ungodly amount of alcohol to begin with, and I'm still fucking here, ain't I? Like, fuck it. You can take my word for it. How you doing, Anna? I'm good. How you doing? Good. Ha! Yes! The headbanging princess sounds good. Damn straight it sounds good. Cool. All righty. All right, so that's clearly not it. Um, where do I go then? Do I have to go back? Is this all fucked up too? Was I fucking up the whole time? You're very silly. You didn't... You didn't do it the third time. Oh, I see. Understood. Understood! Robert did a goofy. Robert That's did a... Robert did a poopy goofy! That's true. That's actually very true. I am doing a very drunken, poopy, goofy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was intentional. I did a, I did a poopy, goofy. That's it. This is the one. Joshua Kurtz, this is the one. I feel it. Damn straight. Damn straight. Let's go. Astolfo, this is starting to turn into a challenge other than fun. It's both. We can do this, folks. Like, com like comment, and sub slime if you can do this with me. And then we'll have a big old drinky at the very end to commemorate how awesome we are. And then... Oh my god. Oh my goodness, he's way faster now! I'm so focused. Anna, why don't you talk to the people while I do this? 
Oh my goodness! <laughs> You're oh very my goodness, silly. that's right. Slap that gap on the people. That's Slap right. that gap! Slap the shit out of that gap! He's gonna start singing. Wait. Wait for him to reach. Yes! And respond to the for a giant shit. He sure is crafty. <laughs> he know. is. He is. More like crafty. Am I crappy? Am I right? Hey oh. That's right. That is crappy. And then I probably have to get him one more time. Yeah. Got yeah. it. Come on. Come on! Let's go, you big old piece of shit! Hi, headbanging princess. What? She said hi to me. Hi, hi, oh, uh, okay. Wow. Why would anyone want to say hi to you? I almost fell in the poop. I almost fell in the poop! Are we good? Did we do it? Did we do it? Did we do it? Did we do it? Yes! Yes! <laughs> it's so silly. Wait, what? He's still alive? My goodness! Why is this like a Dark Souls boss? Alright, alright. Well, the glass shattered, so let's go get the glass. Also, rest in peace, headphone people. I want to follow you, headbanging princess. There we go, I flushed him! I flushed him! Yes! Yes! Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Anna's showing me breaking bad memes while this happens. <laughs> Look at you, Anna. You're making friends. I just followed you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh! That was actually a pretty decent singer. Why was that good? Why about me? Why about me? Same. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Here I am, you greedy bastard. <laughs> All right. More spanduli. More spanduli and meatballs. Ladies and gentlemen, as promised, raise your fucking bottle or your glass to the screen right now. Do a little pachinki. Would you like a little bit before I down this? I will have a little bit. Have a little bit. Have a little itty bitty bit. We did it. We fucked up the great mighty poo. Let's go! One big old fucking shot. Let's go! I know. I know! Oh my goodness! I know, I know. Ugh. I know. I know. Holy fuck! We did it. You have to press the plunger. I did it. I did it. I plus. Oh. I flushed oh. him. <laughs> He's dead now. That's right. I he flushed did. the big old poop. Caleb, glass raised. Most deserved boss ever. Okay. Can we have dinner now? Go make dinner. It's fine. You could have made it to begin with, for the record. You said to sit down. Cause but I want. I like. Th I like. Oh, I like to play in party with you. I know. I was gonna do it, and you're like, sit down. So that's what I did. So now you can go do it. 
Get to it, woman. Get to it, wife. I make you food all the time. You can make me something for once. Ugh. How's everyone doing out there? I hope everyone had a really fantastic night tonight. I had a lot of fun. This was really cool and good. I'm happy everyone tuned in, and I'm happy everyone had fun. Uh, shout out to the headbanging princess, who I guess now we're friends with, because we're going to do a collab, and, they, and Lucky Cat Greggles, who lives in the city. So yeah. And shout out to everyone. Jack Coleman, in the kitchen. Okay, then. Shout out to everyone who was here tonight. Shout out to people having fun and being cool and good. I'm gonna exit the poop cave and then we're done, Zo. Exit the poop cave? Exit the poop. Nah? Huh? Nah, I think I can live without being in the poop cave. I went from playing like fucking Red Dead before the stream started to this. Wow. Yeah. I mean, on top of the... You know what? I guess this is fitting in a weird way, because this is... I did the Sanguasugabog interview as well. <laughs> and they're pretty poopy. Yeah. I don't even think they would argue with me on that. They're pretty self-aware, after all. Olives. You can use up the olives if you like. I will put them in the salad. Damn it! All right, well, fuck it. We're done. We, we killed the Great Mighty Poo. That's what matters. Yeah, 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 fuck it, whatever, I don't care. I drank a whole fucking bottle of goddamn fucking rum, whatever. The Headbanging Princess, nice streams, cheers. Blackwater Rust, gonna take a big shot now. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for the Conker's Bad Fur Day drinking game. I hope you enjoyed yourself. We're done, so Anna and I are done for the night. We're gonna have fun, because it's a Friday night. I don't know. Yeah. Bye now. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, you have yourself a fantastic fucking day. Anything you want to say, Anna? Have a good night. Have